All right, hey guys, happy Sunday and happy Easter. We're out here doing a live stream right now and we're on Rancho Del Rio, but we're gonna be doing a multiplayer hunt today. So anybody that wants to join the map can feel free to. I have it set to eight players, so yeah. I mean, it should be a good time. We're gonna be going out, going after some rabbit and uh, some big pheasant along the way, which reminds me, we need to grab the 22 or at least whatever we can use for the rabbits. I think we'll probably get rid of the 300 because there's really nothing we can use this for on this map so we'll get rid of that and i don't know if we're gonna grab the 22 i mean i haven't hunted uh, rabbits in a while so i'm not sure which rifle we should even use to tell you the truth i really wish that they would add an air rifle that we could use for rabbits right something like this and you could just sit there for instance like the one in the hunter classic it works so good, right? That's what I wish we could use. Um, but anyways, we'll probably end up using either the, the 22 long rifle or maybe the 22 AR. You know what? Why not? We'll grab the 22 AR. Yeah, let's do that. We'll grab this one. And actually, we have to customize this thing because we've never customized it before. That's what it comes like stock. But let's say what's up to all of you guys first. What's going on? BJ Walder, Shannon, how's it going? Joan, Eben, what's up, Evan? Hey, Alpha, how have you been, man? Lexi, what's going on, Russell? I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you learned a lot from watching the channel, man. Brock's World, what's going on? The Dawn, hello. And Sandra, how's it going? Happy Easter to you as well. And again, welcome to Hashtag Hunters. What's going on, Bob Steiner? How's it going? I'm originally from Wisconsin. Originally from Wisconsin. So let's pick out some cool camo for this thing. And honestly, we might just go with that. I kind of like it. How it's like partially red. Or is that going to change? Okay, no. So the red... The red doesn't change, just the stock changes. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that, right? Alright, but honestly, it's going to be a little too expensive, so I don't think we're going to do that. It's just going to be the stock, so maybe we'll go with uh, some kind of like paint. How about that? Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that right there. How about this? I mean, you can't really tell much of a difference, to be quite honest. So we'll just go with that. And uh, that's going to be our rabbit rifle right there. Okay. Hello again, Aurora. How's it going? Yeah, so usually when I stream, I wear my AirPods, but um, when I moved like a year ago, apparently I lost my Bluetooth chip, which syncs my AirPods to my computer. And because uh, my computer doesn't have Bluetooth, so I have to put an adapter to it. But I don't know where that is, so I tried to sync my um, AirPods to it and it wasn't working, so. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be wearing headphones for this, this, uh, stream here. Alright, so we'll grab the 22, we'll grab some bullets, and, uh, head on out after some rabbit. Now, the cool thing about this 10 gauge is that we can actually take about a 120 yard shot, and if we hit a rabbit with one BB, it will go down instantly and give us full integrity for it. So, that's honestly super cool. I'm not sure which one of these bullets is better, but according to this, it looks like the truncated bullets are going to be kind of the go-to's here. Alright, we'll buy a bunch of these, then we're going to buy some more 10-gauge uh, birdshot for the shotgun. Hey, Wei Hunt, how's it going? 
Evan, you're all the way in South Africa. That's super cool, man. All right, that should be good on that. And we'll grab some more birdshot. We don't need a ton of it, but about 250 rounds should be good. So now we'll make sure we have our AR-22 in three. Yeah, we'll keep it in three for now. And then we'll have the shotgun in two. Tell you what. So we don't get confused. We'll keep the 22 in slot one, the shotgun in slot two, the AR-308 in slot three, and then the 223 in slot five. And I'm thinking maybe we should grab the Argus scope, the sniper scope for this thing as well. Maybe, but I'm not sure yet. Do we have enough room? Yeah, we have enough room. We could bring it. All right, so we'll have that with us just in case we need to take kind of a long shot. But for now, uh, we'll use the Hyperion. Hello, LeBron, all the way from your house. Welcome. What's going on, Gallo, all the way in the Netherlands? Okay, let's see if anyone joined. Nobody joined. So, in case anyone wants to know, we have a multiplayer server open right now. Feel free to join in and um, enjoy the hunt. We're not going to be doing, like... You know dual hunting or anything we're not going to be doing any guiding but i mean if you're in the area and we get on some rabbits or something i might let you let you in and we'll try and you know join in on the fun together actually that's a good idea We should probably swing over here and grab our collar. That's what we need to do. We need to grab Chance. We should definitely bring him. But look at this. Right here we got uh, Jackrabbit tracks already. Fresh tracks. How cool would it be if we had a dog that could track these things down and flush them out for us? Ooh, that's going to be the next best thing coming up. Hey, Seeker, what's going on? Hey, Joshua. I've been really good. Honestly, I've been really, really good. But again, the collar should be right here. There it is. And it's a good 10 feet off. It's a good solid 10 feet off here. All right, so what my goal is, is to kind of hunt on up through here, all the way through this area here, which is where the max weight rooster should be. He had a minimum estimate of 15 to 19, and I think like 18.5 or something like that is diamond. I'm not 100% sure, but something like that either way he's definitely close to diamond if he's not diamond he's really close to it so yeah we'll hunt up through there but we need our dog What's going on? Can you help me with my follow spawn? I went and shot down the exteriors, but I keep getting small fours and threes. Well, the thing is, you want to make sure you just shoot the small ones. And then when the big ones come, wait until like the last minute before you start taking some of them down. 
And eventually you'll start getting some good fours or potentially fives. I'm not saying you're going to get a great one at all, but you'll get some diamond potentials for sure. Hey, Bookleg Buffalo, how's it going? Welcome to the channel again, and thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that, man. It's always good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Wow. It seems like it's working today, huh? Yeah, I did some adjustments yesterday, and it seems to be working all right. All right. We came in here to find our dog, but where the heck? Oh, here. So we're going to be bringing Chase with us, and he's going to be helping us out and fetching the rabbits. But the thing about this is, honestly, if we brought Chance, he could help uh, find the rabbits as well. So I'm not sure which one we should bring. Do we bring our blood tracking dog or do we bring... Ooh, either way, we better do something quick because we got a bunch of white tail coming across right in front of us here. And I think that should be our AR-308. Oh, he is moving. He is definitely moving. Those are all does? All right. Uh, I really wish we could get up on this ridge here and get a better Thank view. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. I heard that. We got a bit of a delay still, but at least it is working. How's everything going with you, Booklick Buffalo? That is odd, Sandro. That's super, super odd, honestly. I've been noticing the same thing, though. When I've been trying to join multiplayer servers, it shows that there's nobody really there and there's plenty of space available. But then every time I join, it says it's full. So, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. And I'm not sure why that's even a thing. I'm not sure if it's like some kind of bug that's going on or what. All right, where the heck did these bucks just go? Oh, probably this bobcat might have scared him. And I appreciate that for letting everyone know to hit the like button. Thank you so much, Booklick Buffalo. Yeah, I guess that uh, buck is going to be getting away. But that's all right. We're not really too interested in them. We're not too interested at all. Um, what I'm thinking, though, is since nobody can join, then... Should we just go back? Oh, my God, that's a huge buck. Holy, that's a freaking giant. Wow, look at that rack. That's a 240 plus. That right there is a massive 240 plus buck. Whew. And the one thing I realized that we don't have is the recurve bow. So we definitely got to get that. 100%. Starting soon is still up. I always forget about that. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. Luckily, we haven't really started the hunt yet. I mean, kind of, but not really. Now, what was just calling over there? Probably the bobcat. Uh, yep, it's the bobcat. All right, so let's grab the recurve bow. Yes, that's right, Jesse. We're going to be bringing Chase with us today. And we'll grab the recurve bow just in case we find any monsters that we need to take down with. And uh, we might have found one already. Like this buck here, I don't think we're going to be passing him up. He's pretty impressive. So we'll grab the 420s. And our bow, we'll put in slot 6 for now, which normally I put in slot 2, so it's going to be kind of confusing as to where the heck it is, but uh, hopefully we get the hang of it. And we need the deer collar. 
But we could just use the collar, I suppose. All right. Let's head out here and get ready. A rebroadcast? What, Mr. Swan? No, of course not. Yep, I just changed it. I just changed it, Jamie. I just changed it. It should be good to go now. Also, let me know if the audio sounds good or not. I appreciate all the updates from you guys. Hello, Stephen. Happy Easter from Pennsylvania. Or Stefan? I think it's Stefan. And happy Easter to you too, Way Hunt. How's it going, Jamie? Hunt bunnies with the 300 AR? I know, right? So the cool thing about the 10 gauge is you can actually hunt the bunnies with it. And I was saying before, you can take up to 120 yard shot and connect on those bunnies. But look at the rack on that. Okay, so for some reason, I don't know if that's a 240 plus or not. It seems like it's got that rack, but now that I'm looking at it here from further away, or closer, I should say, he doesn't look quite as big as, as I once thought he was. What's going on, Eric from Sweden? What do you do about uh, Dove and Gross? Put in Dove and Gross and call them. I don't know what you mean by that, but um, how's it going all the way from Sweden? Hello, HAQQ. All right, so we got this huge buck here, and I do think that that should be a 230 plus buck. However, since we have all these whitetail here, I would love to try and call them across this little crossing here. So we're gonna put out the collar over here, and we'll see if we can't get this big buck to come right past us into range. Just cause I think it'd be super cool. And he's a giant on top of it. All right, so we'll put this collar here and we're going to tuck back in right in this brush here. Now, ideally, I would say he should cross right through this little opening right here. This kind of tiny little path going through the water. But also, we got to make sure that Chase lays down as well. That is indeed a good rack and thank you for confirming about the audio, Sancho. As well as Mr. Swan and HAQQ. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Oh, this is a perfect location here because we actually have full cover even while we crouch up. Got to get out of this brush a little bit here. I think that should be good right there. We will definitely test it out. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. Let's turn the collar on and see if we can't get this huge white tail to come into range. Oh boy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. That's for surely the 230 plus rack. For surely. My question is, is it going to be possible for them to be able to come right past us without spooking? Either way, we're about to find out. Yeah, way up. Multiplayer is definitely pretty jacked up right now. I'm not sure what is going on with the situation, but something is for surely jacked up about it. I agree with that. All right, so our big buck is holding tight right back there, about 90 yards out, but he's slowly working his way in, closer and closer. There's another decent buck back there as well. Oh, that could be a bit of a problem. That could definitely be a bit of a problem. Oh. I don't know how, but nothing spooked except for that doe. Literally nothing spooked. 
And also, this big buck does not want to come any closer. I'm not sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. That deer just ran right into us. Okay, so we got him out there at about 80 yards out. Now, if he got to 60, I would probably go for the shot. I really would. But what in the heck is he even doing? Hey, Jackson, happy Easter to you too, man. Well, clearly, that did not work at all. And I'm not sure why. I am not sure why. So in that case, we'll turn the collar off. We'll let him calm down and we'll just do the old fashioned sneak up on him. There he goes right there. If he stopped right there, that could actually work out. Hey, Todd, all the way from Wisconsin. That's where I'm from, man. Okay, just stop right there. Don't move. Just stop. It's like this collar is almost bugged out. And check it out. We got eyes on our first jackrabbit right there. Now, this is going to be important, too, because we have to make sure. Actually, I have a question. Is there a jackrabbit collar? No, there's not. Okay, I didn't think there was. But we have to make sure that our shot is good enough to where we get that buck and we don't spook this rabbit. Which, the shotgun is in slot two. And that should be our bird shot. Should be. So if we need to, we can take up to a 100 yard shot with the 10 gauge and connect on this jackrabbit. He's a nice male as well. And there's a couple of them over there. Check that out. That's the biggest one right there at about 130 yards. So if we needed to, we could take that shot. Okay, let's focus on these here. Where in the heck are our deer going? Sometimes random stuff like this happens. And to me, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. They should just be drinking down here. And so, well, we'll come back for him after. I'm not really too worried about that. We know where he hangs out, okay? Uh, there he is right there. Look at that. Look at that smart old buck. He knows it too. Anyways, like I said before, we'll come back for him. He's going to cross right over there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go for about a 100 yard shot on this jackrabbit right here. And hopefully nothing else spooks. But our 22 is going to be right there. You got excited from the call? Yeah, for sure. Hi, what's going on, Hunter? What's going on, Reed? 235 is your biggest. Yeah, I would say he's probably 235. All right. We got eyes on our first jackrabbit right here. Smoked him. I don't know where the rest of them went, but... Looks like they may be taken off. Yep. They must have took off. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, doubled up. We dropped him. Can we get one more? Oh, wait. I don't know if we got that one or not. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. there was a deer right there. And I felt kind of like we shouldn't be taking that shot. There's one right there. 
Uh, I don't know if we got him or not. We definitely got two. And we probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because now we just took out the zone for that massive whitetail. And we're going to have to track him down. Which is honestly alright. Because I'm quite alright with that. If we need to, we can track him down. Either way, that was super epic. We absolutely smoked a couple of jackrabbits. Yeah, he's for sure worth going after. 100%. I agree with you. But uh, it's going to be difficult finding him. It will be. But Don, that collar doesn't make sense at all. Manual collar takes a minute to wear off, but instant, no effect when turned off the new collar. You're 100% right. I agree with that. It really doesn't make any logic at all. So, um, maybe just try the deer grunt. But honestly, the deer grunt somewhat does the same thing. So, it all depends on like what stage the game is in at the time. Hey, Mr. Swan, thanks, man. That's my... Uh, bow fishing bow right there so that's the bow that i shot my 190 pound gator gar with and i'm hoping that i'll get another one at least close to that size this year which uh hopefully we can get it on video all right buddy let's let you find some of these oh that's right he's gonna bring them right to us i forgot about that look at that out of boy chase out of boy And here we have a nice jackrabbit. It's going to be a 4.95 gold. And that was a 133 yard trotting perfect long shot. Almost got him in the back of the heart. Look at that angle there. You can see how he was going directly away from us. And uh, that kind of doesn't really make too much sense now, does it? Unless we shot. No, we didn't. I was going to say unless we went behind the lung on the first lung, but somehow we went through the first lung without actually hitting it and then we hit the back of the opposite lung there if you look closely you can see this light colored one is where it should have hit first but it says that it didn't hit and in uh, reality that potentially should have been a double lung shot but either way still an epic shot and a super cool jackrabbit down nice male gold should put that thing on the thumbnail huh All right, well, let's find the other one, buddy. Yeah, rabbit and raccoon hunting dogs would be a great addition. Oh, raccoon hunting dogs. Yeah, we talked about that a couple of times. Like some treeing raccoon dogs would be absolutely epic. You know what I mean? Especially if you can go hunting at night with spotlights. The fact that we already have night vision in the game is super cool too. Dude, did you really not find our rabbit? He's laying right here. Where did you go even? <laughs> he just like hauled way back over there. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? I mean, there's a chance we might have gotten another one down over there, maybe. But, uh, hold on a second. There is hunting pressure there. Hey, somebody joined in. Comic book guy's here. Now, if only I could remember how to chat. There we go. He literally can't find this rabbit? Really? Watch him up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know if he's looking for something different or what, but whatever. We got this one here. That's actually the first one that we shot, and we did, in fact, get a beautiful double lung shot at 104 yards out, and that's a dark brown. He wasn't quite big enough to be a gold. I thought he was going to be a gold, though, but it's a super cool-looking jackrabbit as well. Now that is the Easter Bunny. Not actually, but it looks super cool. Look at how it has spots on its back like that. Take a screenshot of that as well. Hey, what's going on, Chris Hartland? And I appreciate that again, Buchlick Buffalo. Thank you. So yeah, these uh, 22 truncated bullets really do have some incredible penetration. I haven't used them in a while, but now we know that they're for surely worth it. And remember, we gotta go track down that big buck. We gotta. So before we lose sight of him, let's make sure we find his track. 
And then we'll go look for, potentially, another jackrabbit that we may or may not have gotten. Ooh, I'm not seeing any tracks here from our big buck, but... We know for surely he's in this herd. Got it. Got it. Okay. We're all set. Now let's go find this buck. But I do want to double check to make sure that we didn't in fact hit another jackrabbit on the run up here. Because we might have. According to this hunting pressure here, we very well might have hit one. And I think that's why he keeps running over there. Not seeing any blood yet. It would have been right here, right? Yeah, looks like it was a clean miss. Just to double check. We'll throw him on it one more time. And see if he can find something here. Nope. Alright. Well, we got two. We'll take it. Come on, buddy. I did not mean to do that. Alright, come on. Okay, so we actually shouldn't have to track this thing too far because we use the 22 and it's kind of quiet. At least it's not going to spook them very far. We got some pronghorn out there, and we got a white-tailed doe randomly just sitting out there. Hold up. There's a bunch of white tail out there. That might be the herd that our buck is in. Might be. It's kind of difficult to tell. Okay, there's a couple of small bucks there. I'm not sure if that's the same buck that's in that herd. Or not, but we'll see. Looks like a completely different herd, to be honest. Yeah, that's got to be a one trivial there. All right, let's stick to these. Wait a second. Let's not stick to those. Those are old tracks. These are fresh tracks and uh, hmm. You know, come to think of it, they kind of are going that direction. What scope has the best zoom? That's going to be the um, Argus scope. Got a gobbler there. That's right. We can actually use a 22. Not that I would recommend it, but uh, you know, if we had kind of a far shot and decided to go for it, I would I would definitely go for it. There's some turkeys there. Alright, we really need to find out where this buck went. According to this, he went down here. All right, we got some more tracks here. I mean, he's almost got to be in that herd over there. Wait a second. Do you think that would be him? Would he be down there? Turkey. Oh, we got whitetail going down there. That actually might be a completely different herd again. I mean, it's a decent buck. But we can't take that out or we'll lose that zone too, so... I don't believe that's the same herd at all.
All right, well, we'll track him down and see where it leads us to here. It's kind of confusing because honestly, the tracks are, well, he's basically backtracking. We have one set of tracks going in and the other set coming out. Okay, well, we got tracks here, so we'll track them down. Oh, very nice, Wild. Happy Easter to you too, Sugar Bear. How's it going? Hey, Blunt Force, happy Easter, man. All right, buddy. Thanks, Classic Cricketer. It was a very nice double lung, wasn't it? All right, so right now we're tracking down this max weight white tail. He's for surely a 230 plus buck. And uh, well, what we tried to do is call him in and we're gonna take him down with the recurve, but he decided not to come into the collar. And in fact, he decided to trot the complete opposite direction. Which was not so cool, to be honest. I mean, at this point, I almost feel like throwing in some buckshot into the 10 gauge in case he jumps up. You know what I mean? If he jumps up right there. Fresh tracks, fresh tracks. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, we really just need to make sure we get this buck. Hey, Joshua, what's going on, man? Coyote. We'll take the coyote if he comes running out. We'll for surely take him. That's our dog. I was going to say that is not a coyote. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, my God. Tell me we got him. We had to have hit that thing solid. Absolutely had to have. He's going down. He's going down. Tell me we got him. Tell me we got him. Oh, that was so epic, though, wasn't it? Took him down with the friggin' 10 gauge and the buckshot. And that buck's going down as well. Another good one coming in. Oh! He's going down. He's going down right there. Holy, he went down already. All right. Well, that was super epic. Huh. The 10 gauge buckshot really did an excellent job right there. It really did. And I'm thinking we got that big buck. All right, this thing piled up right here. How do we do? Liver intestine shot and another liver shot. So based off of that, I would say that the big buck, we probably got a liver shot as well. Anyways, he's piled up. That is not even him. That's a doe. How the heck did we hit this doe? We absolutely smoked her though. 60 yards on the run. So then would this be our big buck over here? Cause I thought I saw a rack on something running through here. That's yet a different buck that we hit. Okay, seriously, how did this big buck end up laying like this? Seriously. Is that even our big buck? I can't even tell. But it's kind of a ridiculous pose for him to go down in. So we're gonna take a yeah, we'll try and we'll try and take a picture here. Alright, Chase, come on, buddy. Come on. Come into the water. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? We need you in the picture. All right, right there. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's funny. <laughs> did you find him? <laughs> yeah, he did. 
He definitely found him. Son of a... Every time. Every time. He was literally 60 yards away and we hit him. Oh, okay. That should have been a double lung heart shot for one. And then these two got him in the spine. That one should have dropped down lower and got lung, but... Oh, he was huge. 238 score. And the follow-up shot wrecked it no matter what. So even if... That shot still should have been lung. Even if... That first shot connected, which it should have. The second shot would have majorly ruined it. And that would have really upset me, so... I'm honestly kind of glad that uh, we hit him in the skull the second time because he was already messed up anyways. But we got so robbed on that shot, it's not even funny. That one pellet right there should have hit Lung and should have taken him down. It really should have. Even this one should have hit top of the Lung, but he's still a giant and at least we got him down. At least we got him down. All right, I'm pretty sure we hit another buck over here, but I'm not really too worried about tracking him down. Unless, yep, no organs hit. Well, we got him. But I'll tell you one thing, we're not going to do that again. We absolutely cannot mess up another big buck. The last two, no, the last three big bucks we've messed up completely. It just, it makes me like sick to my stomach when that happens. And the worst part is it's not even our fault. That's the worst part. Whoa. Okay. Let's find out something once here. That did not even penetrate. Man, that's wild. All right, let's throw the bird shot back in here because we're going to be starting to jump up some rabbits. Look at that. Really? Are you serious right now? Are you seeing this? 11 yards away and we hit him along four, five times. Five times right there. And nothing penetrated at all. Nothing. I mean, I guess they really need to be perfectly broadside and sitting still in order to pull off that shot. Which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the buckshot in general. Because it should have some knockdown power. I'll tell you one thing. If you hit a deer at less than 10 yards away with buckshot right in the front shoulder, it's going to just rip right through that shoulder and hit lung. And it will pretty much take out every single organ in that deer just from that close of a shot. It's going to look like you hit him with three slugs stacked on top of one another. That's how big the hole is going to be. So the fact that it did absolutely nothing to this deer at 10 yards away kind of concerns me a lot well i mean i guess we could just let the devs know that they need to for surely increase the uh the power on the 10 gauge buckshot because otherwise like what's the whole point of having it having it we got a deer piled up right here as well and that was again no penetration at all another perfect shot on the run 67 yards and you're talking two pellets right through the lung, a couple in the shoulder there, but it did not connect at all. Both of those should have connected. It really should have. I mean, it for surely works in taking them down, but if you want to get integrity, good luck. Good luck. An actual, mule hunt, uh, an actual mule deer hunt? No, I don't plan on that. Well, next year, yeah, I for surely do, but not right now. Ooh, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Wow. 
Watch for him. Watch for him. I saw him. I just saw him. And then we got stuck on this brush. He's running through there. Come on, buddy. There. Doubled up! Doubled up! And we might have tripled up. We just tripled up. We just tripled up. Look at that, you guys. Oh, wow. Did I say triple? There's freaking four rabbits there. We got four rabbits on the run with a 10 gauge. So we might have gotten two doubles, to be perfectly honest. But how epic was that? Just stacked them right up. Oh, we got turkey. We got turkey. I'm not sure if that was a gobbler or not, but we for surely got turkeys. All right, buddy. Let's see if you can find these this time, okay? And meanwhile, we got to reload this thing. I'm so glad that we were zeroed in for 27 yards. Hey, he found him. One, two, three, four rabbits down. All right here. Are you going to get the rest of them or what? What are you going to do? All right, how about this? You sit there. And make for a super awesome picture. That's right. The king of the rabbit collectors right here. Not a very good picture, but. Wish we could move this. Well, let's move you over here. So we can at least get one good picture. We always want to have them in the back. That dough was made of metal. I know, right? Pretty much. Pretty much, honestly. Well, now you're too far away there, buddy. Four rabbits. All right, well, you know what? I really wish you would actually fetch some of these rabbits and bring them closer there, buddy. Bring them over here. He's not going to. All right, let's uh, not waste any more time. There we have a running. Okay, one shot took down this rabbit right below the heart there at 41 yards out. It's a female. Okay, buddy, come on back. Here's another running shot, 38 yards, and one BB took him down. And there's a gold. That's actually a nice one. Five. I can't even see what the score is from all the uh, icons popping up here. So if that would go away, that'd be awesome. 5.35 gold. And gold is actually 4.8, so that's on the way to being a diamond. It might be our biggest one so far. 36 yards on the run, but this is why I like the 10 gauge so much, because one BB will take them down. And it's 100% ethical. Got this one on the run, 44 yards. And a super cool pose as well, especially for a jackrabbit. What's going on, Chi1? Jighead, how's it going? Crash Studios, what's up? Oh, you joined in? Welcome, man. We are absolutely stacking up on the rabbits today. Now, we're going to go try and find some big pheasant. And potentially some more jackrabbit, of course. Hey, Timothy Davis, how's it going? Great to see you again. Walking into work right now, have an awesome stream. Sounds great, man. Happy Easter to you, too. I appreciate you stopping out here. Welcome. Welcome, Brighton. What's going on, man? 
Okay, so where are we here? We are over here, and right now we're trying to work our way up this direction here. Slowly but surely. Now, we happen to have... I gotta try and remember this. The so 22 is in slot 1. The shotgun is in slot 2, and the AR-308 is in slot 3. I'm never gonna remember that, but we'll see how it goes. As long as we don't accidentally pull out the 22 on a huge dime potential white tail buck or something, then we'll be good. I appreciate that. Timothy says, uh, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Oh, there we go. Pheasant. Oh, even better. Jackrabbit. But then again, if he's going that way, I don't really know if I want to go. Mm, it might be open over there. We'll check it out. If it's open, then awesome. There we go, Jackrabbit Tracks. Hey, Brighton. You missed us just stacking up on these Jackrabbits here with the 10 gauge. That's what you missed. No tracks though, so I'm not sure where it went. We got a zone right there. All right. How's it going, emo man? Ooh, tell me it's a rooster. Yes, it's a rooster. That's what we're looking for. Oh, it's a cool rooster. Fly. Come on, fly. Oh, he doesn't want to fly. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he stop? Oh, he stopped! There he is! There he goes! Woo! Oh, come on. That should have been a hit. I feel like we got ripped off there. Got him. Holy. I don't know how the heck we missed him so many times, but we got him. He's a cool looking rooster. A real cool looking rooster. Ah, the boy, he found him out there. Ah, it's going to be a silver. Not big enough to be a gold, but he is a gray. So a cool looking rooster 26 yards out and we got him right in the neck as well as the head. So I think there's something messed up with the pattern on this 10 gauge for for like uh, for example for the pheasant and the ducks because when you use it for turkey it shows you have a huge pattern you know you're talking like 15 20 BBs going right into that thing and for this even though you know, we missed him a couple times. I feel like the reason we missed him is because the pattern is messed up, to be quite honest. But we did get him down, so that's pretty cool. Smoked him. Nice Thank rooster you so pheasant much there. For becoming a member. And we got a new member. Welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to hashtag hunters. Thank you so much for becoming a member, William Parker. How's it going, man? I appreciate that. All right, let's get some hype for that. Hold on, did I hit the wrong one? Oh, so I can't actually even... All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, where are we at? I wish there was a way that we could see what the pattern is like right now. Whoa! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. More pheasant, more pheasant. It's like we have a freaking super, super tight choke in right now. I don't know if we have like a full choke in or what, but the pattern should be opening up more and it's not. Oh, that's another thing. I would love to have choke tubes in this so we could actually be able to choose what kind of, you know, pattern or spread that we want with the shotguns that we're using. There he is! Oh! He's for surely hit. You gotta be kidding me. I almost don't really... Well, he's not big enough to be gold, so... What? Is he hit? Tell me he's hit. <laughs> he's for surely hit. I mean, that was ridiculous, right? Like, those shots were pretty much perfect, and he just kept on flying like nothing even happened. I don't know if the hit animation is kind of messed up on this right now, but uh, he should have for surely reacted hit to that. Uh, William Parker, thank you so much for another super chat. I appreciate that, man. And he put the banana emoji. Number one. I appreciate that. Your first super, first super chat, huh? How do we do that? Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Thank you, William. All right, here's our rooster. We hit this thing one time out of That's all money. those Thank shots so right You're in the wing heart. and it did nothing to this thing. Hardly like hardly anything. You're talking a freaking 10 gauge. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for- So yeah, we need to get choke tubes in this. That's what we need to get. All right, let's find some more rabbits. Or pheasant. I'm down for both. I really am. It's interesting that uh, comic book guy was able to join the, the uh, server here, but no one else can. I'm not sure why. Chokes are high on my list. I hear you, Apparel. I hear you on that. Yeah, because honestly, when you're rabbit hunting, you're going to want to have improved cylinder or like modified something like that, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Pheasant. Where was it? Where was it? I don't know, but we jumped up a bobcat over there. I mean, do we even go for that? We have nothing to take him down with. Oh, no, we do. We got the AR-223. Oh, bad news for you, buddy. And we got a hen calling over there. But yeah, when I go rabbit hunting with my 12-gauge Benelli, I'll use uh, improved cylinder chokes. That way you got a nice spread. And they're running through the brush. You can literally shoot right into the brush and still hit them. But then if I'm going pheasant, I'll pretty much use like modified, you know, and then obviously duck or geese, I'm using full or extended full. And for sure, turkey, I'm using extended full, which would make sense because that's what you use in real life. So you'd want to be able to have that same option in Call of the Wild as well. Holy, another super chat from William Parker. Thank you so much, man. Wow, I really appreciate that. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Just popping them up left and right here, man. <laughs> That's awesome. As we just got a call from another rooster pheasant right over here. I'm not sure where he's at. But he just called right here somewhere. Well, that's going to be him. He's getting further and further away. I think what we have here on our hands is a running rooster. We got a running rooster here. And a super chat from Ethan Wiggins. Thank you so much. You're my favorite YouTuber. I appreciate thank that. So Ethan, much. thank You're you so much. Hunter. And that's an awesome number one emote that you put there. Hope you're having an amazing Easter Sunday. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. All right. Where the heck is he going? 
He's going through some pretty thick brush here. Oh, our Max Weight Rooster Pheasant. Max Weight Rooster Pheasant track. Right there. That might be him. He might be in this flock. Hold on. He's right here. There he goes. There he goes. Get on him. I can't get out of the brush. That's him. Oh, I got him. He went down. Holy, that was a giant. Oh my God, that thing was huge. I think we only hit him once. Another one. Oh, dude, that was perfect. Are you kidding me? Look at them all. All right, I do believe that that rooster is gonna go down as well. There's no way we didn't hit that thing at least once. Oh, he's coming straight for us. He's coming straight for us. Oh, you're not dodging that one. I'll tell you that. Wow. This pattern is absolutely ridiculous on this 10 gauge here. Absolutely ridiculous. But we got him. I really want to find out how big that uh, big five was. Or not the five, but the uh, five pounder. So we're going to send Chase to see if he can't find that rooster. Because honestly, it's going to be kind of difficult. That one's piled up right there. So that's not going to be too much to worry about. And another super chat from William Parker. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you. And here comes our big rooster. That is not a rooster. Where did you find this thing, buddy? Where... <laughs> Where did you find that pheasant? Huh? There's no way we didn't get that big pheasant. Okay, here's the one that we just got. We had it one time at 25 yards. It's like the pattern that we're using here is the same pattern that we would have with buckshot. We literally hit this thing. Okay, well, technically six or seven times, but at 25 yards, you're gonna hit it way more than just that many times, unless you're shooting, I don't know, like friggin' four shot or something at pheasant, which is a little bit ridiculous. I'm not even four shot, probably like two shot. Okay, buddy, tell me we got that big rooster. Please tell me we got that big rooster. That's money, thank you so much. You're a fine- It's not looking too good. But I was almost 100% sure that I saw him fall over. Please tell me you find, please tell me you're going to find him. Oh my God. I don't think we got him. How? He didn't find him. <laughs> he absolutely did not find that pheasant. Oh, that's difficult. That is a difficult one. Whew. He was big. I saw the estimate pop up. Rooster tracks there. Yeah, he was real big. Well, maybe this is his track over here. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely dusted that one. Definitely dusted that one. But still, I don't know where our big five is. Five pounder. Where, where do we even go to look for him? Female here. Did you guys see it fall or did you not see it fall? Because I thought for sure it fell. Oh, now that is what we want. Perfect brain shot. 27 yards and that is a gold as well. 16.45. There's gotta be tracks over here from that max weight rooster. I'm not seeing them though. 
Yeah, I hear you on that, Harold. Those right to lefters like that are freaking awesome. You got the whole screen to take the shot, get the nice lead down, and squeeze the trigger. You guys, there's no way we didn't get that rooster. Did you guys see that rooster go down? Oh, okay. So you didn't see him go down, but you thought we winged it. Well, yeah, I thought for sure we would have at least hit it once. But I guess the good thing is, is that we do happen to have a zone here, so we could always come back and try and find him again. You know what? We really need to come back and find him again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, we're stuck. I don't know what just happened, but somehow we got stuck here. I guess it's not the end of the world because... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I can't even get out of this here. We're going to have to do a control alt tab delete. I, I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. Can I even do that? Uh oh, it's not going to be ideal. But yeah, it's it's froze up here. I can't do anything. I can't. Hit oh my god, we fixed it. Whew. I did not want to do a control alt delete because that could have easily corrupted the game. Easily. Whew. That was scary. Wow, that was scary. All right. We got Bobcat taking off through here. We got coyotes. We got that rooster pheasant here somewhere. Turkeys, too, apparently. Apparently we got turkeys. Lots of turkeys. Um, but we can't actually hunt one of these because we'll lose this zone. Tell you what, we gotta come back here again. We'll come back here in a little bit. Uh, I really wanna get that pheasant, you guys. Eight till 11 o'clock in the morning. Right now the white tail should be done drinking. So that would mean that they potentially are over here. Hmm. Where can we go to get some more hunting pressure real quickly? Well, let's try and jump up these pronghorn quick so we can take these out and maybe potentially spread the pressure out a little bit. Uh, five, right? Nope, 223. Four. Binoculars, of course. So it's gotta be six. Well, which one is it? Oh, it's three. Oh, I just thought I saw a bunch of pheasant over there, but they're not. Mm, they must have taken off. There is some pheasant. That's a cool pheasant. That's a real cool pheasant. He's not coming this way though. We're gonna go over there to get him. As much as I don't really like hunting these pheasant with the red dot, just cause it, I would never hunt them like that in real life. We kind of have to. All right, Amanda C. We will uh, not be doing that. Thank you, but I appreciate you being here. Just try and uh, have respect for people that are watching and the and uh, you know typing in the chat. Now I lost track of where our pheasant went. He 
You know, that's a good question. Stefan, I, I don't know. Oh, there! Those are both hens. Oh, we just got a call from Rooster. And those are both hens. That's a hen. The rooster should... Oh, those are not hens. That's a hen. That's the other hen. Okay, we got a couple of pheasant taken off over here. I can't see what that one is way the heck over there. But we're about to find out and reload. Yeah, I'm not sure why people think it's cool stuff and it's really not. But I think they just want to get some attention. Okay, that should be where he's at over there. In fact, there should be a couple of them. At this point, I wouldn't mind taking down a hen as well as the rooster. We may have just gotten both of them. May have. I'm not sure. We got blood here. From a hen. And... Yeah, I'm not sure if that rooster is over here or not. Tell you what. Let's send him in. And we'll kind of post up in case one flies out. We for sure they got one. It's another hen. All right, well, we got this hen piled up here. 73 yards. Atta boy. Let's see if we got another one. Oh, we did get two of them. 53 yards. So then that should be it, right? Ah, right, we might have got another one. We'll check. All right, so it looks like we didn't get that big rooster. <laughs> they keep taunting us. They really do. And it seems that basically you can't even lead them. You just have to have like the sight almost right on its head. And if you're a little bit off, you're not going to get them. So we'll try that next time here and see how that works. Hey, Aiden, how's it going, man? Where did they go? Mm, not sure. Really? Different one. There's one flying way out there. That's a small molting one. Actually, are there pheasant on top of this? I didn't know that. 
Well, let's get ready. We might be able to jump some up. I appreciate that, Harold. Thanks, man. There we go. Rooster, rooster, rooster. Come on, get up. I see him. I see him right there. He is. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, son of a. We missed both of them. To be fair, they flew in a very weird direction, though. There's a hen going down. We did not miss both of them. We did not miss both of them. There's one laying right here. There's one laying right here. We got him. Actually, we hit that one really good. 44 yards. We literally couldn't even tell we hit the thing. All right. So we got a cool molting. That's epic. But yeah, we couldn't even tell we hit that thing. That's a hen. Is that a hen? Yeah, that's a hen. And I think he took off again. Son of a. Imagine if we got him. His health dropped, huh? Hen. Oh, he landed right there. He landed right there. Hen. You can't see. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he took off, did he? He was right here. Well, I see something that looks like a pheasant right there. Thank you for subscribing. No. All right, let's come back here tomorrow. I won't, I really want to try and find that max weight rooster. So between four o'clock and eight o'clock in the wait. 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning. And also, we might be able to snipe some roosters over here. But which one are you talking about, Sancher? I'm not sure which one. Well, that's weird, Guz. I'm glad that you subscribe now. Alright, so we're going to go over here and check for Whitetail real quick. Then we'll change the time to tomorrow and come back here to try and find that big max weight rooster. Alright, so last time we were here, there was a bunch of white tail, but it's just a matter of trying to find where they're at right now. Yep, they should be out there somewhere. Also, there should be some coyotes here, too. But, it, ooh, pronghorn. Couple of small female pronghorn. Uh, usually what I'll do is just take a shot over here and see if something jumps up. Bobcat. 
We could take that down too. There goes the bobcat. But no white tail. That's all right. Let's change the time. And come back tomorrow. He messed up a diamond red dude today. Uh, he shot it off a tripod and ground level an hour later. Another one came on the map and you got it. Nice. Well, at least you got another one and made up for the first one. Okay, we'll come back here tomorrow. Well, there could actually be some pheasant or turkey down here, actually. Yeah, we got a bunch of turkey down there. All hands. Tell you what, let's take some of these hens down. We got a few of them. One, two, and three. Coyote. Ooh, I would love to take a shot on that thing. Now, it would be cool if we could call that in, but it's probably not going to come into the call. Oh, pheasant. Way the heck out there. Not getting them. Dude, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Oh, I can't see him though. But somehow we're spotting him, but... I don't know how. 180 yards. Tell you what, let's set out the caller and see, see what happens. Maybe he'll come in. You know, maybe he's hungry and wants to come in. Can I put it here? Oh, I guess I'll put it right there. Yeah, let's see what happens here. We'll try and call on this coyote real quick. Um, You know, I'm not sure. Oh, there he is. There he is right there, right there, right there. Oh, I lost him. Come on, he was right there. Well, he still might be coming in since he's calm. There he is. I see him. All right. He's right there. Well, I don't know how we missed him. 
We let him perfectly. I don't know if we hit low or high or what happened there, but that was definitely a rip. Man. Oh, I think we got him. I think we definitely connected on that shot. Whether or not we actually are going to take him down, I'm not sure about that, but I'd say we hit him. I'd say that was definitely a hit. <laughs> gotcha. What a shot. Smoked him right before he got a chance to get into that brush. Absolutely perfect shot. I was wondering, I'm like, he should be popping out here any second now. And since he's not, that means we got him. We might have missed him once, but he's not going to make a fool of us twice. Ooh, I'm down for that. What is that is the question. Oh, that is something cool. Oof, he's a long ways out there. 330 yards. Well, we got to double check that. Yep, yeah, 330 right there. And you know what? We're going to throw on the Argus scope here. Because we're going to need it. Okay. <laughs> it looked perfect. What in the absolute heck is going on and why can't we spot him anymore? I'm pretty sure it just said that he was at 0%. That was wild. Well, we got him, I suppose. That was so strange, though. Super strange. Hey, Lewis, I've been watching your vids for years now. Just got to watch a live stream. Happy to be here. Glad to have you here, Lewis. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Are you in the map? It's now 1940. What? It's eight o'clock in the morning, man. All right, let's find this coyote. You know, if we had a chance, he could help us track down. Oh, heck yeah. We got another coyote. It's a nice male bedded right there. 215 yards out from us. He's right behind that tree. We're going to try for a shot. And see if we can get to a position where we can get one. I think that could work. One lone coyote. Kind of a rare scenario. All right, where did he go? Right there. It's a bit of a tough angle. Well, not really. I mean, the angle is fine. It's just the fact that he's laying on his belly like that. Okay, buddy. Lay down. All right. We're going to go for a top of the shoulder shot. Hopefully, we can drop. We're a little too far forward there. But honestly, maybe we should put out the collar. That angle is a little too difficult. Uh, 
All right, well, let's see if that does anything. He is not interested. Yeah, the problem is if we hit that front shoulder, we are not getting penetration and getting that coyote. And he's gold potential. He's for surely gold potential. What's going on, deer hunting 2022? Hey, Kyler, happy Easter to you too. Happy Easter, Jason Flory. And the king, welcome. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's not coming into the call, but... He's not, for some reason. Well, we could take a shot over there, I suppose, maybe. Or we could try and coax him in. I mean, he's well within range. Well within range. Remind me. Oh, he's up. He's up. He's up. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now... See, I kind of want to turn the collar off. Yeah, I want to turn it off. Because otherwise he's going to come too close and then he's going to bust us, which... That would not be good. All right, he stopped right there at 170 yards from us. And now he's getting in the brush, which we're about to lose him. And hopefully, wait, there he is. Did he actually lay back down? Nope, he's up. And then he laid back down again. Well, I suppose what we could do is try and post up on this rock up here, right? Oh, we got a buck right there. This buck is in range. Oh, got him. What a shot. Wow. That's how we do it. All right, buddy, come on. Hey, Lynn B. Today we're hunting on Rancho. We're primarily hunting rabbit and uh, pheasant, but right now we're going after this coyote. And remind me, we have to get the coyote and we have to get that level 7 bobcat. I'll probably forget, so hopefully one of you guys will remember that we got the uh, bobcat to get as well as the coyote. Here's the buck. Definitely smoked him. Right lung, liver, stomach shot at 50 yards. Very nice. On a 173 whitetail. Good buck as well. Alright, so we're going to try and climb up to the top of this ridge here and see if we can't get... Oh, he's right there. Oh, that is a shot. I'm down for that shot right there. Because if he comes closer, then maybe he'll stop here. But there's really no reason to pass that up. Absolutely none. All right, buddy, lay down. Here we go. That should have been a heart shot. It absolutely should have been a heart shot. And you're going to sit there. <laughs> we freaking just smoked him on the run. Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that? He just piled right up. Oh my god, that was absolutely epic. I don't know how we didn't pull off a heart shot when he was standing right there. Or I should say sitting there, but... It was even more cool the fact that we took him on the run and just smoked him. 
Put a good three and a half foot lead on him, squeeze the trigger, and next thing you know, he just rolled. Whoa, pheasant. I mean, that's not a pheasant. Turkey. Oh, did we hit him? We're all over him. He's hit. He's hit again. He's hit again. I would, ima I would imagine he's going to go down, right? Mm, I think he went down. Oh, do we have our collar out? Yeah, we have our collar out. We got to grab our collar. Holy. The 10 gauge does make a lovely noise, doesn't it? All right, buddy. You know what? We might have to uh, drop you off real quick and... <laughs> And go get a uh, chance because we got too many things here to track down. I mean, we'll see. We might be able to find everything. But did that that turkey, yeah, that turkey mm, might have went down. Um. All right, let's find the caller here. One thing at a time. Okay, chilling. Sounds good, man. Enjoy your evening. Come on, just find the caller. That looks like it, but it's not. Okay, we're literally right on top of the caller. And I can't see it. Let's check this. So that actually helps. According to this, we're not really on it, but according to this, we're right on it. Okay, so from now on, we'll use the hunter mate. What'd you guys think of that running shot? Did you guys see that? Freaking running smoke shot on that coyote with the AR-223. Hey, Nail Banger, happy birth- I mean, uh, happy birthday. Happy Easter, man. And Cosmic Liam, happy Easter. Thank you, I appreciate that. You have a good rabbit spot on Rancho. I can join your map. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. What's going on, Total, total Noob Tactics? Zeref 100, what's going on? Right now, we just took down a coyote and uh, a pretty big bobcat, as well as another coyote, which we're going to have to track down in a second. But this coyote is laying right here. And it's gonna be... Look. Look at that. Look at that. Right on the freaking money. I'm telling you, that's a hard shot all day long. You put that shot right there with an AR-223. You're going through, you're getting lung, you're getting heart, you're getting shoulder. That thing is definitely going down at 200 yards. And for us, we hit the shoulder and it didn't make it to the heart, apparently. Apparently, but uh, yeah, then we got him on the run at 260 yards and smoked him right in the front shoulder and lung. 48.43, just shy of being a gold, but a nice coyote down, a very nice coyote. The one thing that I'd like to see on these is that they would have either, you know, fill them out a little bit more, make them bigger or make their legs a little bit shorter because their legs are so long that it almost looks like a little bit ridiculous. You know, they're not wolves, they're coyotes, but that's a cool pose there. And what a heck of an amazing running shot as well. All right, so did we get that turkey? Now I'm wondering if he'll be able to find the turkey. Well, he's definitely not going the right way for the turkey. I'll tell you that, but, uh, he is going to where... Oh, we got to get our coyote back over here as well. All right, now this shot was an epic running shot as well, too. 
We missed both sitting shots, but running shots were absolutely perfect. My Easter was really good. Thank you for asking, Total Noob. How was yours? Excuse me. It was a blinder, huh? Well, apparently he didn't find anything to retrieve. Epic shot. I appreciate that, guys. Another coyote? What? All right. We got to find this thing here. So if he takes off, we can just fast travel back over there and go get him. But for now, we need to find this coyote. Got him right here. All right, he's taken off, and it was a running neck shot at 204 yards on the trot. Very nice. All right, well, let's actually get back to the tent over here so we can... No, we can't, because we got to get this uh, bobcat. But then eventually we'll get back to the tent. I am curious where the heck we hit this thing as well. We went 0 for 3 on all of these things, but that's because this AR-223 is really not very promising. It's not. And uh, I wish it was. All right, let's check out this Bobcat. Welcome, Ryan, how's it going? Bobcat should be down here. Well, it's for surely a vital hit. I had a feeling we smoked him on one of those shots. But he was just standing there glitched out for the longest time. Dude, the second shot was a freaking heart shot at 330 yards. What? Are you kidding me? Take a look at the first shot here. I don't know. Okay, I understand this shot. This does make sense. I know you're probably confused, like, how the heck did we hit him there if we were holding for the heart? But what happened was, he was actually sitting down, right? And as soon as we were about to take the shot, he kind of, because he's been kind of trotting back and forth, kind of in like a little circle. As soon as we were about to take the shot, he popped up. And that's what happened. So we caught him in the lower elbow kind of there. So that is exactly why that shot didn't connect. But the second shot after that was incredible. And that was a 335 yard heart shot quartering away straight through the center of the heart. And we got left lung as well. So yeah, I had a feeling that second shot was an amazing shot. 25.14 gold. Oh, what a sweet pose he's in, too. Look at that. Imagine having this thing behind, like, a big strutting gobbler. Because in real life, these bobcats will attack turkey. But also, the turkey can defend themselves pretty easily. And the turkey will give these things a run for their money. But that's awesome. So, that's another gold. Now we're going to fast travel to the tent here and see if we can't spot the other coyote. You never know with turkeys, they're all over the place. That's true. All right, let's see if we can't find this coyote. And then we got to get back to try and find that max weight rooster. Or at least there's a couple of them. Oh, pronghorn. Got him. There he is, right there. Oh. 
Oh, he's hit. Oh. Oh. He's hit once, but it's not very good. Come on, where'd he go? Well, it might take him down, but either way, present. Another pheasant and another pheasant. So we got a couple of roosters out there. Not very big, but uh, we're going to hang tight right here and see if something comes in. I'm going to set out the collar right here. So we'll see if something comes in while we're waiting. Oh, I can put it there. Oh, dude. Right there. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Uh, we'll turn the bobcat call around here and see if something comes in. I, however, will be right back. And by right back, I mean, I need to grab something to eat real quick.
All right, guys, we're back. What's going on? Thank you for having the patience. I just enjoyed some food. Leftover cheeseburger and some chicken breast with, whoa, the pronghorn. What I was gonna say is I wanted to come back here and check to make sure that that coyote might've went down. And it looks like it did because we have hunting pressure right there. Whoa, what's going on, buddy? Where have you been? Did you miss us? Hey. That's actually a really cool picture right there. He is right next to us. Oh, and he fell. Oh, did we get that picture? I think we might have. If we didn't, we definitely got that one. Man, those are some super cool pictures. All right. You're going to have to move. Or at least lay down. Um, but I had uh, chicken breast with Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. The original Sweet Baby Ray's. It's so good. You can take even the driest of meats and you put that stuff on there. It is bomb. Absolutely fire. That's the 22. All right, we're gonna use the AR-223 here because that's tactically what we're supposed to use for this. So I'm seeing if in fact it is possible to take them down with using this. Because now that we can't actually use the AR-308 on the pronghorn, this is going to be our next our next best bet. So apparently nothing came into the call. But yeah, I believe we did get that coyote. And we might have to go back. Oh, you're from Denmark. How's it going, Peter Thompson? All the way from Denmark. Hey, Harold, I appreciate you updating all the people here. Thanks for letting them know that with the missus cooking the turkey could <laughs> sigh what's up man welcome welcome back okay so there's one of the pronghorn and it does appear that we have hunting pressure from one as well that means we did take down one and we took down a coyote Hey Gallo, welcome. Thanks for welcoming back. Oh, that's a vital hit. Oh yeah. That is for surely a vital hit. But that is from our pronghorn. And then the coyote should be over here too. But I don't see any blood. So, not sure how we're going to find that thing. Well, spoke too soon. We got blood right here, unless. Uh, no, that's from a different pronghorn. Doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Man, I can't wait until I can actually wear my AirPods again and be able to hear the game. All right, we got blood going down through here. But where did it go? Tracks here. What do you think? What do you think, Chase? I almost call them Chance. What are they very low? What? That's not the right one, that's why. We're tracking the wrong one. Well, that makes sense why it still didn't go down. Oh, nice, Cosmic. You're from Louisiana? Okay, so here's the vital hit one. 
All right, sounds good, comic book. See you later, man. Oh. See you later. Blood here, down to 0%. Hey, we found our pronghorn down. I think we actually hit this thing twice even. Nope, one shot, 160 yards, and it barely penetrated into the lung. Just barely. On a tiny 91 pound female. So what is this supposed to do on an actual decent sized male? Absolutely nothing. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, but anyways, let's get back and find that huge rooster pheasant. Just right. After we find that coyote, actually. Okay, let's go over here and try and find this coyote. I think it went down. Oh, William Parker, you're from Colorado. Very nice. I've been to Denver a couple times. Ooh, a bobcat. Which coats are rare for brown bear? So for brown bear, there's albino. And uh, pretty sure that might be it, but there might be melanistic. Spirit is definitely a little bit more uncommon, but it's not rare. Oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. Huge mythical bobcat. Huge mythical bobcat. But I can't even see him over there. Unless that might be him there. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Wow, how the heck are we going to get a shot off on this thing? Whew. Okay, so we got a mark there. What we're going to have to do is somehow pivot all the way around to this side here and see if maybe we can call this thing in. Maybe. Hey, Nathan, what's going on all the way from Michigan? How's it going, man? Yeah, that's not too far away from Wisconsin. It's like we're neighbors. So this here would be roughly 200 yards. And then this here would be what? Less than 200 yards. So, look at that. There's blood right here. Remember I said we wanted to track down that coyote? Well, it pretty much led us right to him. Because watch this. Blood here. Blood here. And there should be a coyote. Unless it's from a pronghorn. Maybe that is from the pronghorn. I don't know. Yeah, I think... Hold on. Yeah, that's from the pronghorn. Uh, never mind what I just said. Turkey. But we're going to call this bobcat in. It's going to be extremely difficult, but hopefully we can spot him as he's coming in and be able to take the shot. That's all we can really hope for at this point. Because at this point, he's actually going to be less than 150 yards out. So either way, it's going to be a pretty cool turnout. No, the cinnamons are cool, but they're not rare. Especially if you get a big one. Turkey. All right, buddy, come on up here and lay down. I mean, we got a pretty good viewpoint from here, to be honest. So if he's over there, we might be able to just smoke him from here. Gobbler. I might go for a shot on him with the AR-22 as well. And another gobbler way the heck out there. Now that would be a heck of a shot. Alright, we gotta get low because literally we're standing out so much right now. 
That one's wide open. Oh, Steiner, you're out here on the map, huh? Which one, which one are you? You must be the, uh... Oh, it's Rol Roland... Rolando, maybe? I don't know. Okay, but anyways. Let's find this huge... Okay, there's a white tail there. Tiny white tail buck. And another gobbler. Now we're spotting everything from up here. There's so many times that I come over here to look for cool stuff and I never see anything. But now we're, we're seeing stuff all over the place. Till 12 o'clock, that bobcat should be right. Hold on. Why are these deer all taking off? Another rabbit, another rabbit right below us. Uh, but that bobcat should be right down there somewhere. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. There might be one there. Can't quite make it out though. Unless, no, he's probably down here, huh? Well, we're going to have to turn the call around and start watching because I can't see anything from here. But what a heck of an amazing view we have. And we have to make sure we don't accidentally hit this freaking rock wall either. We'll look one more time. Down in here. Oh, we found him. You guys, he's right there, 95 yards out. Yeah, but we're not going to get a shot off like that. Nope. I said before, we're not going to mess up any more big animals. It's just not going to happen. At this point, I can't even tell where his head is or where his... Hind quarter is. So, we gotta turn the collar on. I didn't try and pull this up. Alright, let's get him moving. And he's on the move right there. Was that 95 yards out from us? That's almost a shot. Okay, this is honestly incredible. Look at that. I freaking knew that was going to happen. You know what happened? We hit the freaking mountain. And we messed up another big animal. But the worst part is we intentionally tried to not do that. I literally went forward and backwards, forward and backwards, and then backwards again. Sometimes the hitbox on this thing is just ridiculous. And the worst part is, is he's also going to go down now. Unless we can get a follow up shot. Which there's a chance. A small chance, but a chance. He should be coming out through there.
Or he went down. You know? That could have happened too. That could have happened too. Boy, we are really having our luck for our money. On these big animals. We're just getting like totally ripped. Every way possible. I can't even explain it to you. Like that was not our fault. Not even the slightest bit. So you're going to sit there and tell me we can't uh, take prone shots? No. Not buying it. Well, let's try and hit this gobbler out here at who knows how far. Got him! Oh, second shot! Second shot! Freaking smoked him. Well, we actually took a shot. And we're empty. Got him again. We must have smoked that one. I don't even know where we hit it, but it dropped instantly. This thing is still going a pretty good ways. Ah. He's taking off. Probably should have just waited till he landed and went for a shot. But then again, if he piles up next to that one, that's going to be a pretty good setup too. So I won't complain about that. Uh, don't get that far out there. All right. Good luck finding that. Yeah, we literally got so freaking ripped off. Make a duck hunting video on Robin Tully Coast. Thanks, Nathan. I appreciate that, man. Um, I'm pretty sure we made a duck hunting video on Robin Tully Coast. Quite a few, actually. All right, come on. Well. Let's go down here and find our wounded mythical bobcat. Pronghorn tracks. Hey there, Fisher. How's it going? Oh, your user, your username is Steiner Sandstead. Oh, so it's the same as your YouTube channel. I gotcha. Lord Spaghetti, that happened to me when I was hunting a five medium reindeer. Ooh. What, you shot through the mountain? Hit detection sucks on multiplayer, even if it's your own map. I mean, it does the same thing on single player too, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with that, Sydney. Saltwater crocs are a lot of money. Water rate very low, there we go, no organs hit. Spectacular. Love messing up huge animals like that. Especially when it's not our fault. Just love it. Makes me super pumped. Well, to be fair, the second shot was definitely our fault. Mm, we jumped up a bobcat there. 
But it wasn't the one that we're tracking. I don't believe. 25% health here. Wrong one. Where are... Okay, there's more blood here. Zero percent and he went down just over here. Yep, right there. 1k in the bank on Layton. Nice, nice, nice. 27.17. At least he wasn't an absolute freaking giant. Yeah, our shot wasn't that good. I shouldn't have taken that shot. I really shouldn't have taken that shot. Huge mythical bobcat though. 180 yards and we let them too much. We would have held back a little further on that. It would have been absolutely perfect. Height wise, we were pretty much money. It would have been right there. Bottom of the lung, pretty much heart shot. Every freaking time. Right, remind me, we gotta not do that again. Like, absolutely not do that again. Uh, what appears to be a small to medium bobcat track. Okay, now we're gonna go get those gobblers that are way the heck over there. But honestly, what we're gonna do first is change the time. Because if you didn't know, you can change the time and the animals that you hunt are still going to be on your map. As long as you don't pick them up, of course. And as long as you don't hit main menu. If you hit main menu, then they're going to be gone. I got piebald mallard there. Is it rare? No, piebald mallards are not rare anymore. They used to be. But now they're not anymore. What's up, Josh? I was bragging about how I don't get trolled. Then I got <laughs> trolled on a five medium reindeer. Yeah, sometimes that happens, man. Sometimes that will happen. Okay, let's go over here. We'll find this, uh, well, two of these gobblers. And then we'll get one of those max weight pheasant, rooster pheasants, finally, for once. But what I don't understand is like, yeah, it's awesome that we have a 10 gauge here in Call of the Wild, but... What happened to the 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun? You know, where did that where did that fall into into place here? Because to me, it seems like we never got that, and you just they skipped over the top of it and gave us uh, something that was like way OP or should be way OP. You know, a 10 gauge would literally just dust a rooster pheasant at 70 yards. Like it's gonna pretty pretty much go down. Nothing. What's up? My son Raylan watches every one of your videos. He's nine and loves playing Call of the Wild. Well, tell your son I appreciate all the support and glad that he likes the channel, man. Thank you, Nuckin. All right. Well, there could be some pheasant over here, so we want to be ready just in case. They might potentially flush them. Whoa, we got a lone gamer here. How the heck have you been, the lone gamer? Nice to see you. I think your name is... It's Batch, right? Yeah, what's up, Batch? Yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. Well, recently. I mean, I streamed yesterday, but... Then last weekend, and since then, it was a good year. Probably a year and a half, actually. But uh, who's counting, you know? All right, so we got two gobblers out here, and this may be actually the second one that we didn't hit very good. The first one we hit really good, and he dropped at about 350 yards. Yep, yeah, that's right, 442 yards, and we dropped pretty low. Almost got intestine, though. Um, There are pheasant there. Yep, I had a feeling there was going to be pheasant here. 
So far, just one hen, though, so not really worth going after. I do, however, want to find out where we hit this gobbler. Over here. Yeah, he threw us way out of the place. Nope, there's still enough for like five people here. Hey, Bugs Bunny, happy Easter to you too. Going, I uh, can't wait to go trout fishing. Oh, nice. Trout fishing sounds exciting. All right, here's this gobbler. There we go. Freaking neck shot. 430 yard neck shot with a 22. Does it get any better than that? I mean, that is super epic. To be able to pull off that far of a shot. That's got to be up there for our all-time farthest shot on a turkey. And literally, this was our first shot that we took on this gobbler. Just pulled up and took a shot and instant drop. Instant drop at 430 yards. Incredible. All right. One thing I do want to do is actually switch out slot one and two. Because then we'll have the shotgun right away. And we could always hit slot two if we need to, you know, pull it out and uh, take a rabbit kind of far away. But for the most part, everything's going to jump up anyways. And at that point, we really want to have the shotgun ready. Yep, doing a little bit of Easter rabbit hunting out here. And pheasant. All right, let's get back to that rooster. Oh, no. Who's over there? What are the odds of that? Someone is trying to steal our max weight rooster. Oh, no. Well, I guess I'll have to get him. Luckily for us, I know where another one is. If only I could remember. Well, whoever gets that rooster, let me know how big it is. We should have had that thing so bad. We really should have. Hey, Easton, what's up? Oh, you're on your own Rancho map right now? Nice. I see a light brown turkey thinks it's an albino, right? So if you get a leucistic, that's rare. That's like an albino, but um, light browns, no, they're not rare. They're not anything really. They used to be rare, but then they changed it. That's almost like the dilute mule deer. Like they were not rare at all, but then now they're rare, but I, I would hardly consider a dilute mule deer like super, not super rare, but like just a, a solid rare in general, just because it's dilute. It's not really a certain fur type. It's, it's like a, you know, it's like a strange one, but not like a rare fur type, I guess. Trout, fish, trout fishing for me starts on Saturday and yeah, turkey hunting starts soon in the United States. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, turkey hunting in the morning and trout fishing in the afternoon sounds like a heck of a good day to me. That's what I do in Wisconsin. Turkey hunting in the morning and uh, walleye fishing in the afternoon. Can't beat that. Well, actually, you could even go walleye fishing right after that, which because uh, sometimes I'll take off the day for the day of school. And um, or I used to, I should say. You know, you go turkey hunting at five, four thirty, five o'clock in the morning, and you're done by like seven. So after that, you can go walleye fishing. Perfect combination. All right, let's find some big pheasants. Shadow Lord, you best not take our pheasant. Got some javelina up in here. Ready for turkey hunting? Nice. Oh, 
All right, so remember, slot one is the shotgun, slot two is the 22, slot three is the 308. So if we jump up like a big buck, we're hitting slot three. And also remember that the Havlina, we can't hunt them with the AR-308 anymore. We have to use the 223 again, which is kind of a rip as well. Oh, guy out. We got this for the coyote. Yeah, I saw him run through there, but. Uh, you know, actually, we kind of need to go this way anyway, so why not? Dude, this coyote is just hauling through here. Check this out. He doesn't even know where the heck he's going. Lost him. Abelina. There's our dog. What's up, Bugs Bunny? If you don't mind me asking, what's your compound bow behind you? I have a Matthew set at 70 pounds. This is a Hoyt Katera set at uh, 70 pounds as well. That's my bow fishing bow. Hoyt Katera. Uh, it's just a basic guitar. It's not an XL. But, um... My hunting bow is a Hoyt... Hoyt RX-5 Ultra. So, it's like the same bow as this, but just 15 years newer, pretty much. Got tracks here from a pronghorn. Can't play multiplayer anymore. Subscription ending. Oh, hmm. Just shot an albino deer on Hirschfeld and nice, nice the dawn. But oh, we got some Havlinas out there. We got to check on them. Good four out in the front. Decent one. Goal potential. Do we go for a shot on him? And where'd he go? Oh, they're laying down there. Huh? Two, they're gonna rest right there. There's the four. Oh, way back there. Watch him. Did he lay down? Son of a, he did lay down, didn't he? Yep, he laid down back there. Alright, well, say this was a big four. Oh, he reacted to that, like, instantly. The four is there, and he's actually not spooking. There he is. That might have been a hit. It might have. Like, it looked so close. But anyways. Let's focus on these pheasant. Dude, you guys, we freaking hit that one. Well, the first one. I wasn't sure if we actually connected on that shot or not, but we did. We absolutely did. And we got a pronghorn trotting through there. Nice one. Come on, that should have been money. It should have been. Well, we won't know yet. It's going to take a long time for him to go down if we did connect on that. All right, let's find these roosters. There's a hen there. More javelina. Uh, according to the hunting pressure there, it doesn't look like we did get that one. So far, we're just seeing a hen.
they got the same uh, feed time feed time here so he should be around somewhere uh, hopefully nobody got that pheasant Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, Bobcat! Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I absolutely did not mean to hit that. Smoked either way. Either way, that thing is smoked. Now, let's check the hunting pressure. Yeah, we can't take anything else down here. Oh, unfortunately, that's our big four, too. Mmm, we gotta finish him off. Did we connect? No, we didn't. Well, we did that time. We certainly did that time. Hopefully the percentage, uh, hopefully the hunting pressure doesn't take out the zone, but. Well, so far it appears that there's not very many uh, pheasant left here. All right, where in the heck is our bobcat? Right there. Spotted something out there. Hey, old gray bear, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. But that was a very nice running shot. 66 yards, liver, and intestine, but it's going to be a gold as well. Unfortunately, we missed up. We messed up on that mythical last time, but we didn't mess up on this one. And we do have some Havlina piled up over here, so we should probably go check them out. But then we got a turkey over there. It looks like a hen, though. That's probably what we spotted from before. It's been a little while. It's been a little while for sure. Josh, what's going on? Where in Wisconsin did you walleye fish? Uh, the Wolf River, man. The Wolf River. So it looks like we did get hunting pressure there, and it actually did not take out our need zone, so that's good. Jake Hansen, welcome back, man. You took it on your first wild boar with your Matthews, went to Florida with your family member down there and shot it. With the broadhead, the, the Schwacker broadhead. Yeah, those are some good broadheads. I think that's what uh, Tim Wells shoots. All right, so this is either the four or the two that we got in the beginning. I'm not sure what it is. Running 157 yard spine shot there. And then... I was like, which way are we facing here? This way, okay. There should be another one down here somewhere. Got blood here. That is gonna be our four. Yep, that should be him right there. So we'll find out how we did. You gotta be kidding me, son of a. It would have been perfect. It would have been absolutely, absolutely perfect. And that was a nice one too. That was a big one. 128.67, but dude, 280 yards on the trot. We could barely see him there. And oh my God, that would have been perfect. If we reserved for 160, it would have sunk right in there perfectly and hit potentially even double long. 
But then on the run at 160, we almost made a running heart shot. Oh. Whew. So close. I do want to find out where we hit on this one, though. Because if I remember right, this one we should have took laying down. Wow, look at that shot. 240 yards laying down, and we caught the top of the lung there on that one. So I guess it is viable for the Javelina, but uh, you better make sure you make your shots count. All right, let's get the heck back over where those pheasant were at. Over there, and now we gotta change the time again. Oh, we have a tent way the heck over here. I almost forgot about that. What is that doing over there? Well, the mule deer should be over there. Yeah, I took down a nice wild boar two years ago with my Hoyt Katerbo. How did I know that was going to happen? How? How did I know that was going to happen? Well, we spawned in here and it literally stole our last tent on this side of the freaking map. You know how long it takes to get over here? There's nothing over here. You literally have to come all the way from this friggin' outpost over here. And that is why I usually travel with a tent. Which you shouldn't have to. Holy, what a major rip. Well, I guess we can maybe change our mood if we find a decent buck around here. Then it might be a little bit better. Oh, we're empty. Hey, Chris, I appreciate that, man. Glad you like the stream. Hello, Remy. Happy Easter to you, too. I've seen some muley down here, but it's really rare. To me, it just seems like they don't like this spot because it's too open. Or maybe it's too tough to get to. They're always on this side, though. Cool, man, I don't fish walleye often, but I'm from the Beaver Dam area. Oh, yeah, I know where that is, yeah. You know, walleye, it takes a certain... A certain style. You really got to try out many different techniques to be able to figure out how to get those things to bite because they're super finicky. Right, like you could jig. You Say people are catching them on jig and a minnow. And you're out there with a jig and a minnow. But if you don't twitch it just the right amount of times, you will not get a single bite. You'll just sit there and watch someone next to you just absolutely slamming these fish. Like every five minutes they're getting a fish or maybe even less than that. And, um, you know, cause it probably takes like, um, you know, two minutes to be able to reel them in. So at that point it's, it's a lot of fish. But then if you're jigging it, not quite the same style as, as that person next to you, you won't get a single bite. You really got to know how to finesse these fish. My dad would do that all the time. Sitting out there in the boat for an hour and I wouldn't have a single bite and he would already have like eight or nine fish, you know, caught. 
some weren't big enough, but that's just the way it is. They're smart. They're really smart. Yeah, this is my favorite spot to hunt on this map. One of my all time favorite spots. Just the fact that you can see for so far. And the terrain is incredible. Usually there's even coyotes out here too. There we go. There we go. We got a buck. Two bucks. Now, there's a somewhat of a decent buck there, but not super giant however if we took a shot on him we could easily kick up a monster so we gotta be careful oh that would be interesting take a 400 yard shot with the ar223 good luck with that all right let's go for a shot here smoked him so there is another decent buck in there, right there as a matter of fact. Not overly big, but for sure another buck. I'll tell you what though, that was a heck of a good shot. Real good shot. You realize how far that was? Over 400 yards. Hey, Shubby, thank you. I appreciate that. Glad you like the videos, man. Tim, I know, right? They honestly haven't fixed that. And uh, there's a lot of things that they just don't care about, which is unfortunately the truth. But what are you going to do? Looking forward to the new map. What are your thoughts? Well, if it's going to be like a uh, an Asian map or something like that, then I don't know. It's just going to be like another map, but we'll see. It depends on what kind of animals they have, too. Of course, if there's going to be some new cool species, then I'll get excited about it. But if it's just going to be like feral goats and fallow deer, then not so much. You know, I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. Not yet. Not yet, at least. All right, buddy, come on. Oof, that's a good question. I honestly can't remember that, but uh, if you want to know what the specs of my PC are, it's going to be pretty much in the uh what's it called the description of every ever uh pretty much any one of my videos it will be in the description i will say pc there's the buck i was looking for whoa did we get him or what happened there no Wow, we're dropping like crazy. Another deer there. All those. These are some super far shots. Oh, for recommendation, I would recommend anything that's going to be like a 1080 GTX and up. With a, a terabyte graphics, not graphics card. Is it graphics card? Yeah, a terabyte memory and a 1080 GTX and up. To start out, you'll be fine. 
Mine is a pretty good one. I think I have like a 3070 Ti uh, GeForce or something like that. I don't even know what it is, but it's it's pretty up there. It's one of the newest graphics cards with a really good driver and everything. So yeah, I'm playing on pretty much max graphics here. Started falling down that mountain there. Didn't want to do that. But we made it back to the top. Josh, that shot looked amazing. Um, well, I don't think it was so good because... Hold on. We have honey pressure. Uh, the percentage didn't drop, though. I think that was pretty much on the second shot. That's what happened there. Oh, 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 oh. oh freaking giant buck. Oh, my God. How cool is that? That was money. We smoked him. He's going down. Yes. Holy, what a freaking huge buck. That is why I like the spot so much. What are the odds of that? We're coming around this point here, and all of a sudden, this massive buck is just walking right through this opening perfectly. Whew. Luckily, we smoked him. And I also just saw a bunch of jackrabbits down there as well. So we could potentially be able to get some of these from right here, but we could also get closer as well. Hmm. I think we'll just take them from here. Female, small male, small female. Uh, there are a little ways out there. Tell you what, let's ease our way down here and kind of see what they're going to do. Right there, 150 yards. Oh, come on! We were all over that one. We smoked the first one on the friggin' hop, and the second one... Oh, there's a bunch of them taking off. Oh, wow, look at them all. Got them. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Woo, another one's down, another one's down. Now there's no zones here, right? No. That one's out there in good ways. Oh, we got him. Oh. We were all over that one there. There's another male over there. Look at the hunting pressure. We are absolutely stacking up on these jackrabbits. Oh, that was an epic shot. I think we pretty much took down every one of them. I mean, I'd say there might be like one or two more hopping around up in there, but. Yep. Oof. Right behind him. I can't see him anymore. Ooh. Oh, there he is. I see him. Ooh, don't fall down. Do not fall down. Got him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. Wait. We might get another chance. Another chance here. Smoke the Easter Bunny. 150 yards. All right. He went over there. Right. Oh. Got him! Woo, what a shot! Second shot, but a 350 yard shot right there, and we just smoked that rabbit. More like sniped that rabbit. Absolutely sniped him. 340 yards. But we got another one right here hopping through. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, I lost him. 
He was right there. And they get in that brush and they just blend right in. Right there. 280 yards. Is that what I said 280? Oh, maybe not quite 280. How far is that? 200. Uh, more than 200. Oh, right over the top of him. Can't see him anymore. But he should come out through the other side there. Hey, thanks, Josh. That was a crazy shot. Recently upgraded my graphics card and it made all the difference. It really does. It honestly changes the way that, like, uh, this game. Oh, there he is. Smoked him. Just did a freaking backflip. Holy, did we stack up on the rabbits? They're absolutely piled up everywhere. And I think that's it. I think that's it. All from this mule deer right here, which we also have another rabbit, right? Right here? Right there. Yeah, right there. Um, but yeah, the graphics card will really change uh, the way that you feel about playing this game, honestly. Changes your whole perspective. Mountain lion chasing sounds. Yeah, I know, right? Anything cool happened yet? We just took down about 15 jackrabbits and absolutely sniped them from the top of this mountain with the 22 AR. So I'd say that's kind of cool. But, uh... Yeah, smoked the Easter Bunny 150 yards, pretty much. All right, let's take a look at this huge muley that we took down with the AR-308. It's gonna be a double lung shot at 210 yards. So a perfect shot on the walk and it's gonna be a 254.8 gold. So he's almost at 260. There we go. We finally took down a massive buck and connected. Oh, that was awesome. Next thing you know, we look down and just see this giant rat coming right through the canyon there. Just a perfect turnout. What an incredible scenario we had to be able to take down this massive muley buck. All right, buddy, I think we could definitely use your help for this one. <laughs> what we're gonna try and do is get Chase to fetch every single one of these rabbits. And maybe we can have just a massive pile of jackrabbits here for Easter. And this one went down in kind of the perfect spot too, so. Uh, yeah. Let's see if he gets them all. Oh, there's one. Go get him, buddy. There's a couple more left. There's a couple more left. That's a lot of rabbits. Don't hit the Easter Bunny. <laughs> James, what's going on? You started because of me. Wow, I appreciate that. Thanks for the comment, Josh. Here they come, guys. Here they come. Our little stack is starting to pile up already. He's going to get more. Ah, I appreciate that, Josh. And here comes another one. Good boy. <whistles> he 
Yeah, honestly, you could join in if you want, Cosmic. The only problem is, is like, they're kind of spread out. What I should have done is went in the middle of all the rabbits and then told them to retrieve them. Well, I mean, most of them are within 150 yards. So to be honest, you could probably get quite a few here. Look at that. Look at that. We got a nice stack going here. Then we got two back here as well. Oh, that's going to make for one incredible picture. Yeah, James, I plan on it. I definitely plan on it. Can we get a ste uh, steam? Can we get a stream update? How long have we been streaming for? Oh, it's definitely going to be lagging right now because we got all these rabbits here and we're in the brush. Yeah, for sure. Probably turn down your settings a little bit. Maybe you're on like 1080, turn it down to like 720. But how cool is that? Atta boy, Chase, atta boy. Big old jackrabbit flopping his ears around. Man, they're everywhere. We definitely hit the jackpot today, guys. We definitely hit the jackpot. Hey, Ed, thanks for the update. Three hours, huh? That's a solid stream. Oh, why are you healing? We got more to get, buddy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, don't pick them up from here, please. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more from here. So what we, what we might have to do is actually, like I said before, go between both these rabbits and then get him to retrieve everything to the middle. Right, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. Because a lot of them are like way out in this, the middle of this wide open field here. So what if we go right here and have him bring everything here? First, he'll get these ones over there. Then he should get the other ones. Yep, he's got one right there. Take a look at that. How cool is that? Atta boy, Chase. Good job. You stream on TikTok? I didn't know you could stream on TikTok. Look at the hunting pressure, you guys. It's ridiculous. All right, so you got another one. So that would make, we had six plus two would be eight. Yeah, we got eight jackrabbits here so far. And I think there's two more. I would say we probably got 11 jackrabbits from this one spot. For sure 10. But I would say 11. And another one. Okay, so he's actually going to go back and grab those now, which is going to turn out to be pretty awesome. We'll let him stack them all up right here out in the open.
Well, that's pretty good proof. All right, let's see how many we're going to get stacked up right here. Come on, buddy. Go get some more. The key is you want to make sure that they're not all piled up on top of each other. So if we go like right here, you should put it right there. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, he's got one. Okay, good. Too bad he couldn't pick up like two or three at once. Out of boy. Ooh, he's getting tired. Not much we can do at this point, buddy. We gotta believe that you can finish all these rabbits. Uh, my estimate was 11, but according to how many he picked up already, we got uh, 10, which is still pretty solid. Unfortunately, he's getting tired now because he already ran this way at the beginning and now he's got to do it again. Atta boy, atta boy. Okay, Josh, sounds good. Okay, now we have five here. Once we get this one, then we'll be right where we were before. No, I think we actually have nine. So yeah, once we get this one, then we'll be where we were before, and then he'll have two more after that. And he's doing a lot of work. Good job, Chase. Good job. Bring him right here. Good job. All right, two more. Come on. Making a nice little circle of rabbits here. Now some rabbit stew. Rabbit stew is delicious, by the way. And here he comes with another one. Good 
Come on, buddy. Put it right here. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. So now we should have one left and that's going to make eight. But I feel like we got another one back there, which he might he might not have seen. Yeah, because I never saw him go over there. So now we have seven jackrabbits piled up here. Seven of them. In one spot. This may be our best rabbit hunt of all time. I would say so. And here comes number eight. Lucky number eight. All right, buddy, put him right here. Good job. Good job. Now if I'm one more. I believe there's one more over there. I'm pretty sure there is one over there. And if he finds that, it's going to be nine. But for the time being, we have eight jackrabbits right here. Which is a whole lot of rabbits. Can't even fit them all in here. All right, so he can't find any more, so we're gonna settle at eight. All right, you sit right there. And perfect. Look at that. What a hunt. What a successful, successful hunt. You got all those rabbits by yourself, buddy. You did that. It's a little bit dark out, to be honest. I'm kind of hoping for it to get brighter out, but... The sun is slowly coming out more. And I think that right there will be probably the best picture. All right, there we go. Let's start picking them up. Wait, the sun is perfect now. Absolute best picture possible. Okay, let's pick them up. I don't even know what we got, but there we have a 175 yard shot. 243 yard shot. That's a gray. 187 yard shot. Um, and that's a 172 yard shot. Looks like no decent mail. That's a decent mail there. 270, 298 yard shot on that one there. Uh, 336 yard shot on the trot. Man, was that an epic, epic shot. Holy. And that's a molted, but a perfectly placed shot on that jackrabbit. Perfectly placed shot. There's a 209 yard shot. And a 283 yard shot. But with that, it makes eight jackrabbits in one spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jackrabbits. Whew. That was about as epic as it gets. 
<laughs> Longbow ban Banjo joins in. There's a stack of bodies, pretty much, right? We literally sat here for the last 15 minutes just so Chase could fetch every single one of those rabbits so we can get them stacked up for a picture. 15 minutes it took for him to get all those rabbits together. And he did it. But now I feel really bad because he's super, super hungry. And, uh... Mm, there's probably mule deer down there. We should go check it out. Since we're not going to be able to go over here anyways after this, even though we got a big buck already. Also noticed this the last time you said you wish you could have flashlight in the picture mode, but you could have used a flashlight and pressed F12 for... Nope, you cannot use a flashlight in the picture, but uh, thanks for trying to be smart. Kathy Ray, I wish I could afford 100 Call of the Wild on my PC. So what do you play it on then? Or do you not play it at all? Oh, the only way that you can use the flashlight is for screenshots. You can actually use the picture and then turn the light on. It, do it doesn't work. You got it on sale for 30 bucks for PS4. That's cool. Crocs grow a lot bigger than alligators. Also, the bite force is a huge difference. Most crocs are out of the country. Yeah, that's a good definition. Also has a lot of bacteria, Mr. Foster says. So right now we're kind of just scanning the area for potentially bedded white-tailed deer. Because the mule deer are of course going to be down there drinking. But white-tail and bighorn sheep, however, they could for surely be bedded down in the bottom here and we don't want to actually jump one up. Alright, so we'll swing by here and check for some big muleys. If not, then we're going to get back on that big pheasant track. Ooh, we got a bobcat. There are some big horns. Now, do you really think they can see us from way out there? Or is it because the bobcat's calling that they're getting spookish? Yeah, they're 280 yards out. There's no way they can see us from there. You should use the 243 on a bison? Yeah, that's going to be a heck of a turnout, huh? There's some muleys. And a bighorn. <sighs> nice bighorn. <sighs> we got him. I thought we might have hit him too far back when he spun like that, but we got him. All right, Chase, move, buddy. Luckily, nothing's coming out just yet, but there goes those big horn there. Yeah, there were some muley there. Uh, I don't see any big ones, but that doesn't mean there couldn't have been one before. 
that came up before we got there. There's another one there. Two more there, actually. Couple more out there, and there it goes. Okay, so it was a one trivial, two one trivials, tiny, tiny bucks. Which, if we could pull off a shot, That'd be cool. And we definitely hit that one, so it's going to go down. But, uh, it'll go a ways. You can shot two, you can shoot two if you get long both times on the run in about 30 seconds. Interesting. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but, uh... Now, hunting whitetail with a 243, that sounds like a good idea. I'm down for that. But bison, not so much. Alright, let's grab this bighorn. He was a good ram. And where did he go down? Oh, over here. We ran right past him. Hey, Zippy, how's it going? It's going to be a gold 134. And I mean, we hit him solid, but almost didn't get him. The one side is massive and his other side is just not much at all. But this side is quite impressive. Wow, good ram. Good ram indeed. Oh, there are some muley down there. I was going to say there might be a buck down there. And oh my freaking God, is that a giant? Oh, wow. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. Wow, that's a giant. Oh my god, he's huge. Look at that beast of a buck. He's a 300 plus all day long. He's got a minimum estimate of 300. We got to make sure we make a perfect shot. We have no other choice. I swear, if we hit this rock, you're going to see me rage harder than you've ever seen before. Come on, turn back. Turn back. This angle too much. Mmm. Can't. Absolutely can't do that. He's going to turn broadside eventually. But right there, he's a good 280 yards out. So we're going to get a good bit of drop. Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, white tail. All right, focus on this buck. He's 300 yards out now. There's only one thing we can do here. And that was not exactly one of them. Come on.
Unfreaking believable. Mm. We can't come back here. You know why? We don't have a tent. What do we have over here? Can't even spot them right now because I don't want to lose that buck. Look, doesn't even show where he was at. Okay, he was right there. Right, is that where he was? Yeah, right over there. Alright, so then now we can spot these white tail here. Ah, they're tiny, tiny buck. All he had to do is stop for half a second and turn back around. But he didn't. Oh yeah, give him a hell Mary. Yeah, that's a good one. So then we can go what? 0 for 4? Not happening. Alright, let's see if we could even pull off this shot here. Oh, now you're not going to hit the rock. Of course. We would have smoked him too. It's a shame. Tis a shame. He was right there. Right there. A 300 plus muley was less than 150 yards away from us. And we couldn't even see him. He ran all the way out there and we never even got a shot. So that white tail went down. Well, we're gonna get on his track and we'll find him. We have no choice at this point. We have to find him. Wow, was he a giant. Try and call him in. You can't call him in when he's out there at uh, over 250 yards. If he was under 200, we could have maybe called him in, but even though the fact that he was nervous, so you can't call him in when they're nervous, they don't come in. And this caller has not been working very good lately. All right. Uh, something tells me he was right over here. Yep, that's right where he was. And the weird thing is, it doesn't even show like the drink zone for him. Unless one of these is it. There's a doe drink zone here. Big horn sheep. Big horn sheep, big horn sheep. I mean, maybe he was at that zone with the doe, maybe? I don't even know. Either way, we got his track right here, and... Yeah, he was right here. He was just kind of hanging out back here. I don't know what the heck he was doing, but... Maybe he sensed Chase or something. That could be why. I don't know. But either way, we got a good wind, and we got a great rifle to be able to take him down with if we need to. If we get a close shot, then we'll take him with the recurve bow, but uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. For now, we're going to post up over here and wait a little bit. Honestly, man, there's too many to count. One, make sure the animals actually respond to the call. Um, what was the next one? 
Uh, I can't think of it. There was there was one that I just had in mind and it happened. Um, well, there we go. Make the patterns actually efficient to the shotguns, right? So, and three, make the pattern, make the uh, penetration of the buckshot more intense, um, stronger, because right now it has, uh, you might as well take a freaking 410 with, with uh, I don't even know if 410s have buckshot or not, but I think actually there is 410 buckshot. Yeah, you might as well take a 410 buckshot out there when you're trying to hunt these coyotes with it. Because literally, you can't even use the, the 10 gauge buckshot on the coyotes, but it doesn't even knock them down anyways. So what's the difference? <laughs> it's like they're saying it's too OP to use it for the species, but yet there's no power at all. It's like super weak. Um, And I also think spine shots, even though... Hold on, that might be them. Oh my god, that might be them. Not sure why we're getting a warning call, but... Yeah, he probably came back in. There's a doe. That could be the doe that's over here. Why is she alert though? What is she looking at? Is there a bobcat down there or something? Um, but I think vertebrae shots should automatically drop the animal on the spot. However, I don't think that it should count as like full integrity either. It's just like, when you hit them in the spine, they're gonna drop. And for them to run, it's just so strange. Ah, that's exactly what's going on. We got a bobcat down here. I see him right there. Well, where's the big buck? We'll just hang tight here and uh, I guess wait. Be right back.
All right, guys, so now you can see. I'll be right back. I was like, I should probably do that so you knew that I was going to be gone. But anyways, BRB. And watch for this giant buck. If he comes in, I want to know about it.
All right, we're back. Did anybody see that big buck? And no, nobody killed it. So a nice try. Let's see. There's a video on here of YouTube lady getting chased by a bobcat. Her husband picks up the bobcat and he yells bobcat right in his face and he eats across the lawn. We're back. We're back. Oh, it's an orange cat, not a bobcat. That's so freaking messed up, man. Okay. We got the track from our max weight buck. Or we had the track. Did we lose the track? Oh no, there it is. It went right through here. Although, why does this say walking? Oh yeah, no, he was... He was definitely not walking. He was trotting through here for sure. We got about an hour and 20 minutes to get this thing. And I'm thinking the reason that he was nervous as well as not came or as well as uh, didn't come back in is because of this bobcat here. I'm pretty sure this bobcat is what messed it up. Also, a muley was spotted going through an opening on that hill. Yeah, it was probably that doe though. Whoa. Bobcat. Mm, I think we smoked it. But just to be safe. Don't even tell me that that's not going to take it down. I have a hair right above my eyelash. Oh, I got it. That was driving me wild. It didn't get it. Wow, I can't believe that shot didn't connect. Well, either way, we got more tracks from our big buck right here. As well as the big meal. Oh, that's funny, Cruz. That's funny. You had two orange cats. What happened, Celebrity Spy? What happened? See, look, he ran through here because the bobcat came. Coyote! Dude, if the coyote jumps up through there, that's going to be pretty epic. Whitetail taking off as well. What a nice opening here. Real nice opening. Okay, you're going to tell me the coyote's going to call right there and we're not going to see him across this wide open field here? Stuff like this is what needs to get fixed. So, for instance, the icon of where the animal called from is not near accurate it's not even near it's within a good 80 to 100 yards off so that needs to get fixed for sure because obviously the coyote just called from right here right and we could see this whole entire field i never saw it at all we got tracks right here you're telling me it ran right through here across this wide opening no that's not happening not happening not in a million years did that happen Okay, so now we're getting a call from Whitetail, but we also have our track going through here from our big buck. Oh, that needs to get fixed too. The great one. At this point, it is not huntable. I'll stand by that. 
it is not huntable and until it's actually huntable as in like you don't have to use a freaking formula to get one then i'm not hunting them and i know a lot of people feel the same exact way because like the hunter classic you just got to get pure luck it's literally pure luck and so call of the wild needs to be able to figure out that exact same uh concept as well because until then the only people that are going to get them are the ones that are hacking period that's it Well, there's that buck there. And though he is a good buck, I'm not going to pass him up, I'll tell you that. He's too good of a buck. Are you really not going to cross the road and follow that doe? Oh, that's not him. Where is he going? I mean, seriously. What a rip. Seriously, all it had to do is cross the road. Like, that makes no sense at all. All the deer cross the road except for him. He decides to go the opposite direction. Nah, they're not that smart. Yep, same. Oh, I know. The problem is they act like they don't care what we think. And they think that, well, if you're figuring out a way to get great ones, then that's good for you. They actually are applauding it and encouraging it, which is promoting uh, false advertising, in my opinion. And I have a problem with that. Okay, where's the next track from this thing? What's up, Cruz? Mm. Nah, we're doing good. It's just... Uh, this buck stopped leaving tracks here. Here's some tracks. I love to relax and play Call of the Wild, not trying to start a great one grind. Like, make animals randomized, not herd management. That's exactly what I meant. Yep, that's 100% what I meant. Freaking herd management. You might as well call it hacking system. You know, I said it once and I'll say it 100 times. The day that I play a hunting game and I have to use a uh, mathematical formula to be able to get a certain animal that's the day that i stopped playing hunting games okay where is the next track okay now he turned back that makes more sense and at this point we literally have mm, less than one hour to get this thing or it's going to be dark and at that point I don't really want to get him in the dark. Fresh tracks. It looks like he could potentially be bedded up here, actually. How long do they drink until? 1700. So they must have just stopped drinking. And he should bed down. Right up over here. Why couldn't that be our big buck? Instead, it's a ringneck pheasant and it's a rooster. I see him right there as a matter of fact. All right, well, he for surely went through here. Now it's just a matter of finding him. Big horn sheep. More tracks. Yeah, but you know how many more it would sell if they were actually huntable?
AKA like the Hunter Classic, when you see people getting non-typicals. I got seven non-typical white teal in about three and a half years of playing the Hunter Classic. And in playing called Wild since the great one came out, three and a half years, I've gotten one. So if that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what is gonna. And to get seven in three years is not a lot. It's really not. It's a good amount. Like you're super stoked when you see one, you know, you literally have a heart attack every single time. Ah, we jumped him up. Son of a... Well, how about this, Brighton? I should put in the chat how not to be a mod and then point arrows pointing to your name because that is uh, not a good... That's not a good direction. Man, I can't believe he ran right through here and we never saw him. Right through here. Alright, buddy. You gotta heal up. He's gotta be down there somewhere. Fresh tracks going right out across this road. Coyote, I would love to take a shot on that coyote, but we got to make sure we don't see that big buck somewhere first. All right, I don't see him. Did this bobcat just spook that coyote? Like it was going perfectly right towards us. And then all of a sudden it bolted. Absolutely just bolted. That's right, Hunter. We're going after a 300 plus muley that we just found. Which is also majorly trying to outsmart us, if I might add. Again, fresh tracks going this way. To another opening here. Circle him back, is he? This is the worst when this happens. When they do a huge circle on you and come right back to where they were in the beginning. But it's like, they wouldn't do that if you didn't go look for them. What they should do, if they're gonna circle back, then let them naturally circle back. All right, so I don't even know if we're on a fresh track anymore. Because it's saying old, but who knows? It's got to be a fresh track. All right, heal up, buddy. Pheasant. Decent pheasant. Real decent pheasant. Got him! What a nice shot! Nice, nice shot. Oh, a bunch of them. Oh my god! Did you see the size of the tail feather on that one? Well, we got that one hit. We got that one hit. 
And we got that one hit. And another decent rooster right there. But that hen's gonna pile up. And that rooster is how oh, how many freaking roosters are over there? Those are two different roosters. They're both decent weight roosters. And then this hen here. Oh my god. I think we hit the jackpot on pheasant. All right, let's not lose sight of uh, why we're here, though. We did pretty good, though. We dusted this one. And there was a lot of pheasant down there. Look at this. Our buck ran right through here. 16.14 gold and that was a 63 yard shot see that pattern there is realistic and that pattern makes sense that's how it should be right i mean i feel like it should be a little bit wider than that at 50 50 yards 60 yards and it's that narrow nah come on see that's what i'm talking about stuff like this this is not realistic at all like that's just not realistic we're not shooting buckshot here you know instead of 10 BBs, we have probably 30 or 40. There's a big difference. But a big, big rooster down either way. And we got a couple of pheasant over there. Uh, what we should do is mark them. And honestly, if we can figure out where this big muley is going to go bed down, we can come back here tomorrow and hunt them. But right now, it's getting pretty freaking late. I miss the old days when we killed an animal with spine shot. We didn't care much about great ones and all that stuff. We were hyped about taxidermizing stuff. Yeah, I hear you on that. I definitely hear you on that. The only thing that I didn't like was uh, the fact that people were going for headshots all the time like that's I didn't really like that at all so I was glad when they um, made headshots not ethical oh we got off the track somehow holy that's scary we didn't even click on anything did we all right Tim sounds good thanks so much for stopping out here appreciate that man have a good rest of your Sunday. Well, that makes sense why we couldn't find any more tracks. All right, guys, remind me to go um, go back and get those roosters in a little bit. Or at least I'm sure we got one rooster. Maybe two. Come on, let's find this big buck. Again, he came across this wide open field here. And we never even saw him. Never even saw him. Well, I would say they're probably gonna go back over here and bed down somewhere. Or maybe they'll bed down up in there. Either way, now we have a horrible wind. Favorite animal to hunt, the mule deer. I really hope we're on a fresh track. If we backtrack this thing all the way back here, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. 
the fact that it's trotting now makes me think that it should be kind of fresh. But the fact that we're not seeing anything, that gives me a different idea. Smoked him! Thank you so much for becoming a member. Holy Ty Campbell, how's it going? You've been a member for 25 months. Wow, that's legendary, man. Awesome to see you again, and thank you so much for being a part of the hashtag hunters. It really means a lot. That's a huge number. That number is almost as big as this buck that we're tracking down right now. Boy, what I wouldn't give... Hold on, I thought I just saw one. Um, but for us to have that tent up there right now, then we could spot this thing, but since our tent got uh, taken away by some hungry beavers, there's not much we can do at this point. Oh my God, there he is, oh my God. I see him right there. We just smoked him. We got him. Holy. He stopped there for a couple of seconds. We had the crosshair on him and we squeezed the trigger. He didn't go 20. And he's down. Wow. He was about to bolt too. Within seconds, because the wind's blowing right towards him, right? We had no cover at all. He was just right out in the wide open. But we got him down. He's a freaking monster. He's probably going to be like 310. Oh my god, 312. No freaking way, the diamond! Oh my god! A diamond level four. I've never heard of this before. A diamond level four muley. Holy, I'm freaking out right now. 312.88 and he needed to be 312.17. I didn't know this was possible. I honestly didn't know that it was possible for a four. We've been hunting for mule deer for ever since the true racks came out. Uh, almost four years now and I've never ever seen a four make diamond I've never seen it I've heard it's like a rare you know occasion but this is just truly unbelievable what are the odds of that a diamond and yeah we for surely smoked him oh my god 150 yards out Four easy diamond. Whew. Well, we're getting him mounted. I've actually gotten a buck like this with the rack that was very similar to this. And uh, it scored like 307 or something. So it was a monster, but it wasn't a diamond and I was really hoping it would have been a diamond but now we got one honestly that's like as rare as a, uh, a super rare this right here is as rare as a super rare as in a melanistic or an albino diamond like you'll never see one of these And we got one. We definitely got one. So you know we have to get him mounted. What are the odds of that? I was looking here at the score and I saw 312 pop up and I thought, wait a second. I'm pretty sure 312 and up is, is diamond or something like that. And then I looked and I saw the icon and it didn't look like gold to me. And sure enough, I look off to the right and it says diamond. I'm just absolutely flabbergasted by this here. Wow, what a buck. 
I'm so glad we got him too because honestly we had no clue where he was going to be after that. Absolutely no clue where he's going to be. What was his estimate? So his estimate was 300 minimum. Uh, I don't know what the what the max was, but I think it said like 320 or something. 300, 300 to 315 or 320. And um, yeah, he scored 312.80, which is which is incredible. That's wild, Cy. Si. Congrats. Thanks, Nolan. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I think it was all you, Ty. As soon as the 25-month uh, 25, 25 month, uh, membership popped up, all of a sudden, you know, we got super lucky and, and it turned into a diamond. Holy. Let's get some hype going up in here. All right. We got him just barely in the nick of time. Tracked him for 2.23 miles. It's almost dark. And now we can focus on trying to get that rooster pheasant. Uh, let's get a stream update. How long has it been now at this point? Does anyone know? Also, I'm sure Chase is super hungry and he's really tired too at this point. So uh, we got to make sure we get him all rested. Thanks, Ty. Over four hours? Appreciate that. I thought someone was going to say it still said the BRB scene. If we were going to come back and it would still say BRB the whole time. I would have been so frustrated. Okay, so if we do this, we should have a fresh dog in the morning. Yeah, for sure. I was just thinking about it. I was like, dude, you got to be a freaking mod, man. Thank you. Nah, thank you. You deserve it. All right, let's see how our dog is here. Looks like he's pretty fresh to me. Whew. Let's go find that big rooster. Oh, he still might be over there somewhere. There's a chance. Um, I want to kind of come in from over here to maybe find something new along the way. Appreciate the update. Over 4.14 hours. How's everybody's Easter going? Did you guys get some cool treats and stuff? Ooh. Not big. Or more so, did you guys have a good dinner? As well as potentially a lunch. Nothing here. Let's move on. No way! 2D Fruity is here! How's it going, man? Hey, blue click buffalo. Right now, we're about to go up into these canyons. 
There should be potentially some muley over here too. Yeah, they drink over there. So there might be some big bucks. Although like at this point, why do we even care about muley anymore? We literally just got a huge diamond mule deer. And by huge, I'm saying a four for a four that they don't get bigger than that. <laughs> so I would consider that a huge diamond. I mean, I've literally gotten fives that weren't that big. Where am I from? Wisconsin. Oh, Muley. I had a feeling there'd be Muley up in here. This totally reminds me of like, uh, oh, that's a good buck too. North Dakota. So basically you're kind of uh, pushing down these ravines like this and watching down in the bottom of the canyon. Next thing you know, you jump up a big buck at which point you pull out your, well, in my case, AR-308 and make a good shot. But in real life, you want to absolutely shoot until he goes down. So we're just going to keep on unloading on this buck. Oh, down to 0%. And we got Whitetail taken off. Oh, that's a huge buck. Son of a... If I could get a shot, I would take it. Three hundred eighty yards. Get up this hill. Come on, get the freak up there. Oh my god! Oh, we hit him too far back. Oh, freaking believable. Hold on, we're gonna get a follow up. We're gonna get a follow up. Yes! <laughs> wow, what a follow-up. That was 350 yards. We were holding for the spine. That means we dropped in there and absolutely smoked that buck. There's nothing else we could have hit. Not only that, we were shooting upwards, so we probably would have had even more drop. Wow, look how far that shot was. Holy, look how far that shot was. That was a 400 yard shot. And there's still a bedded muley over there? Huh. What are the odds of that? Ooh, that's so cool that there was some huge whitetail bedded in this uh, canyon as well. So right now we're over here. I've never hunted here before. And I don't know why. I guess I didn't know that this really existed here. That's a good buck. And a coyote too. Oh, right over him. Oh, son of a... Or I don't know if we were over him or what that was there, but. Oh, we're empty. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, not getting a shot off on that thing. Wait. Got him. Come 
Come on. Oh my god, he's so far. He's literally 400 yards out there. He's down. Hit him that time. Oh. All right, so we got a muley down here and our big white tail buck pile up over there. Cool. That was some long distance shooting right there. Australia here. Hey, Brian. I had good roasted turkey and duck. Mmm. Sounds delicious, Ty. Hey, Snipes, what's up? Hello, a little late. Was having fun with the family? Hey, hopefully you had a good Easter, man. Glad you made it here now. Look like Buffalo says kablam. That was sweet. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. All right. So. Our first muley should be down over here. We got a pretty good blood trail going right through here. And in case you're wondering what Chase is doing with us. He's going to help us find this big rooster. Right now, he's just with us, even though we're not really hunting for a pheasant or anything that we could use him for. But uh, yeah, he's here, you know, keeping us company. All right, here's our good muley that we got. Oh, yeah, we got that other muley, too. Right over the shoulder blade there, 206. And then our huge white tail is way the heck up here. Like, way over there. What's going on, Landon Sparks? It's your first time watching the stream, but I've been watching your videos since the beginning. Glad to hear that, man. I appreciate that. What, uh... What have you been doing for Thanksgiving? Or not Thanksgiving. What have you been doing for uh, Easter? The, the new dogs are really cool. They really are. Okay, here lays our huge buck. And that is what you call a vital hit. Wow. It's gonna be a 223 gold and we finally connected on a monster whitetail for the first time in today's hunt. We messed up three huge whitetails in this video. And this time we did not. Well, the first shot, I mean, that goes to show you when you're taking a 430 yard shot on the walk, you got to hold that thing like two and a half foot in front of it just from a walk. And you got to compensate a lot higher than that because I thought he was 380. So we got a good eight inches of drop and a good three foot of uh, push from the wind. Not really the wind but more so just like the distance and um the fact that he was walking but the follow-up shot was a trotting 423 yard incredible double lung shot on that buck wow that's actually a pretty incredible pose just like that right there holy that's cool Somehow my caps lock got turned on. What a buck and what a heck of a save, huh? 420 yards on the trot.
220 gold. All right, now we just got to get a little bit further and we'll be in the territory. Although that's not going to work out so good. Wait, is that even the right spot? I could have swore it said 11 until 1400. Nah, I think this is going to be like a new zone. Well, either way, like that rooster should be down there somewhere. Whether or not he's in the same spot at that exact time, we don't know that, but we know he's for surely going to be there somewhere. Oh, that was epic. What are you going to score? 240. 220s. 220s. All right, Celebrity Spy sounds good. It's 2.30 in the morning there. Wow, it's getting pretty late there then. Glad that you stopped out. Thanks so much. Not much hanging out. Very nice. Very nice. Did you guys have some uh, some ham for the old um, Easter? Or what would you, you have for, for dinner? Got your first great one fallow. Hey, Holden, how have you been? I remember. Easiest rare to get in Call of the Wild? That's a great question. It used to be the duck, to be honest, because there's so many piebald ducks, but there's no more. A piebald duck is not a rare anymore. Oh, we got a bobcat going down this hill. Going down this hill. Oh, even better. We got a buck right there. Hold on. I'm not sure what to do. The female, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh, that's a huge muley. Like, is that a white tail or what is that there? Dude, this thing's going to run us over. Well, I can't shoot him like standing there. It's kind of like defeating the purpose. He's got to at least be moving, you know? I'll take him on the move. Oh, heck yeah, Chinese food. That sounds fire. Yeah, I figured that was going to be a goal. Double lung shot, 57 yards on the trot. 225 gold. Very respectable buck there. <laughs> Chase, Chase is just like hanging out. We got does running past here. All right, he's up there, buddy. He's up. We finally got a shot into her. Man, I love Chinese food. My favorite is the all you can eat buffet. Just stack up the orange chicken and like the clams, all those oysters and stuff. Man. Sweet and sour chicken with the sweet and sour sauce. You got the cinnamon uh, bread. What's it called? Those cinnamon? Like, they're basically cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon biscuits. And then you got all the shrimp and seafood stuff. Mmm. I've actually been craving some uh, Chinese buffet. All-you-can-eat buffet. Welcome back, Ty, with the morning coffee. You know what? I had some Mexican food last night too. Fire food. Carne asada burrito with guacamole and sour cream. Amazing salsa. Ooh, chips and guac. Man, that's good. Some of the best guacamole I ever had from this restaurant, honestly. All right, what do we got here now? Pronghorn, turkey, coyote. Is this even the right spot? No, we're not in the right spot. We're supposed to go... Oh no, that is the right spot. Yeah, right here. Between here and here, somewhere in there. I don't know. 
actually, that is the spot right down there. Yeah. That is the spot. It just looks different coming in from this angle here. Because we can see right down into this brush. Whereas when you're down there, you can't see anything until you're right on top of it. Well, no pheasant so far here. But we're still about 300 yards out from where they should be. Um, has anybody been here since the beginning of the stream? Like, uh, do you guys remember what time the zone said when we, uh, when we had that potentially close to diamond pheasant that we didn't get? Cause I don't remember. I thought it said like 11 until 14 and this zone here says eight until 11. I'm pretty sure there was another zone here that said 11 until 14, but if anybody was here, uh, see if you can let me know. Because I just feel like it's a little bit strange that there's no pheasant here. Josh Swaley, what's up? Just joined what I miss. Oh, you missed some pretty incredible action that we had. A monster 304, no, a 312.8 diamond mule deer that we just got. A level four diamond mule deer, which is almost unheard of. Well, I would have to say that it definitely is unheard of because I've never heard of anyone getting one that, that I know. Duck and plum sauce, delicious. Doing great, uh, glad to hear that Holden. Love the content. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Level four, yeah. 1856. No, I don't think you were here, Sai. You weren't here. It was before you got here. It was literally like maybe an hour, not even an hour. Probably like 30 minutes into the stream, we kicked up a huge pheasant, which was down potential and it was a two, but as you see, lower levels could potentially be diamond. So we got to figure out when that was. Um, I might have to go back and watch the beginning of the stream to figure this out. I know somebody was over here. I know they were definitely over here. But maybe we'll find this track here. That could help too. Female. Yeah, for surely someone was here. I'm hoping that they didn't get our pheasant though. What do we got here? How many? How um, many? Six. Well, there's a pretty good indication that one of these is going to be a rooster. There's no way they're all hens, are they? More coyotes. And bobcats. Pheasants. Pheasants, coyotes, and bobcats. You know what the worst thing is? There was two max weight pheasants. We found... Oh, there we go. Just when I said that, we go and get eyes on a rooster. Oh, there he goes. Dude, we just absolutely dominated on those pheasant. Holy, look at them all. Those are all hens. Oh, 
We can't miss. We can't miss. We absolutely can't miss. I don't even know how many we just took down. Watch this. Look at the hunting pressure. Look at that hunting pressure. We just took down like five pheasant right here. Well, we're on now. Oh yeah, we are. Oh yeah. And we just got that one as well. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> no more missing them, huh? No more missing them. For those of you that are watching now, uh, if you're watching the beginning of this stream, you'll see that we couldn't hit the broadside of a barn on these pheasants. And then I realized that you got to use just barely the tip of this site. And that's it. And if you put that right on the beak of the bird, they go straight down. But this is unbelievable. We just took out that zone. It wasn't even close to us and we just took out that zone. So I really hope that one of these is our big rooster. What are the odds of that? That was him. We got him. Oh my God. He jumped up 29 yards away. A 19.07 gold. He was almost a diamond. But look at that pattern though. 30 yards. We literally hit him in the neck, in the lung, in the brain, and in the wing. In fact... We double lunged him. We legit double lunged this huge rooster. Wow. And that was the first one that flew up. <laughs> we got him. And man, I couldn't be more proud. It's been a while since we've gotten a big rooster like this before. So we're going to get some cool pictures of him. Vroom, just like that. Perfect. And one more. All right. We got him. We're not going to mount him, but wait a second. Wait just a second. Look at what it says right here. You guys, we got a heart shot. A heart, double lung, neck, skull, brain shot on this thing. We absolutely just smoked this thing. Couldn't have hit it any better if you possibly tried. The fact that we hit the heart. Look at there it is. There's the heart right there, right in the middle. I can't believe we hit the heart. Wow. That's incredible. And just hit the wing all over the place as well. Okay, now. Let's just say Chase has a bit of work to do. All right, buddy, go get him. That was unbelievable. The amount of action we just had right there. Six. Snipe says six. Hey, Carter, what's up, man? Well, we just found the big rooster that we've been looking for for the longest time. I was so worried that uh, the zone was gone. And somebody else potentially, you know, got that big rooster. Snipe says, that's a big old boy and amazing penetration for birdshot. It really is. So there's a hen there. I'd say we got three on this side, not including the big one. And then we got two on the other side. So that would be a total of six pheasant. You're right. I think you're right, Snipe. I think six. Look at that. There's a rooster. Good job, buddy. Good job. 
Yep, we got another one down there. That's three alone right here. Plus the rooster, that makes four. So what we did is we got uh, two roosters and four hens, I believe. Yep, there's nothing else over there, I don't think. I guess I would have been wrong. Another hen. So that actually might make seven then. Nah, st uh, still six. There should be two over here. What? I don't know. To me, we got a lot. I mean, just look at the hunting pressure. So that's three hens and two roosters. We already got the big one. So then there should be two more hens over there. Which will be five hens and two roosters. So we did get seven. If I would have known that that was our big one, I wouldn't have picked him up right away. But then again, we could have just dropped him here. It's still super cool. It would have been even more cool if there was two roosters here, but... Yeah, he's got another one. I'm not sure where he even is, to be honest. Oh, he's way the heck back there. Can't even see him. There he is. Another hen. Let's just say we got uh, one too many hens here. But I think that would be it. Five hens and two roosters. That should be it. Another one? Are you kidding me right now? This is wild. I mean, I know we did good, but I didn't know we literally got every single pheasant that was in the air. I did not know that. And another hen. Six hens and two roosters. And that is it. All right, buddy. Let's get you in the picture. Nice little spot right there for you. Come on, look back this way. There we go. Come on. Okay. He usually turns his head. Oh, there we go. Hold still. And got it. Take one more. Man, that's, that's an incredible picture right there. Absolutely stunning. Dawning picture. All right, we'll go with that. Oh, that's even better. That's good. 
You got two with one shot? Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know how else we could have got this many pheasant. This is ridiculous. Literally eight pheasant from one flock. 29 yards. See this? One BB. The same distance as our big rooster. 57 yards. Again, one BB. 57 yards. One BB right in the wing. 29 yards. 25 yards. 37 yards. Next shot. So that was an epic shot. And that was a decent pattern. 35 yards. That thing should have got peppered. Nope. Only two BBs. And the last one. 56 yards. And that's actually decent. To get two in the wing and one kind of back in the intestine at that distance is decent. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight pheasant. Wow. That was a lot of action. And I was not ready for it. Holy. Well, I think that's going to be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. And I'm going to go eat a ton of food right now. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.